Hi. We're late. Hello, <laughs> it's hello. Not it's well, you did say 10-ish. <laughs> I did say 10-ish. <laughs> and I even tried to give myself a few minutes, you know, for the live. I was like, okay, if I'm running a few minutes late, I'm going to set it at 10.05. No. I came in right. my office at 10.05 and then I had to figure out what I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been at work all day, so. <sighs> yeah, I, I know. Food in my hair, I think. Something's something's hard and <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> yeah. hello everybody there's florida mama bear dot in the lane i can't scroll here hold on let me scroll up. yes uh angela hello hello how's hey, everybody angela. doing good to see you sweetheart how are y'all are are, are y'all excited to have a, a ladies night finally <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Anyway, how's everybody <laughs> Saturday going? I'm, I'm stressed. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm here. We did it. We made it. So, right. I hope everybody else has had a good day. I had a pretty good day. Did laundry and did my Walmart run for the trip, and I made a my very first. What did I call it? Snackle box. Has anybody heard of a snackle box? <laughs> oh my gosh. It was so much fun. I've seen them, but I didn't never heard of it referred to as a snackle box. Yeah. I mean it I was, was Yep. That's cool. And my my daughter's making one for her and her husband and then one for the kids for the plane. So yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, good idea to have um have something because especially right. for kids. Exactly, and for my husband. <laughs> <laughs> that applies he's scared, to yeah. well, he's scared to fly, so Aww. you know, there's that. <laughs> I have never flown. I have never been on a plane. If I can't get there by car, oh, I love to fly. There. I love to fly. Everybody always says that, you know, that has flown always says that. It's like, mm, I don't know. Um, I still haven't worked up the nerve. <laughs> yes. So, anyway. So, we're going to craft. We're going to listen to Mr. Ed's in here also working on his speaker box. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. And he goes, I'll get a screwdriver because he's got his his drill or whatever and it's gonna make a lot of noise but we're gonna craft and we're gonna listen to um a cases with the most insane let me read the title again cases with the most insane twist you ever heard um so i kind of briefly like listened to it a little bit just to make sure it was what it said it was um, but this is new to me too. I don't I don't have any any idea uh, what it's about. So it's a surprise to all of us. So we'll kind of listen to it. And if y'all need me to pause it for any reason, like send me some kind of like alert or um, uh, emoji in chat, and I'll pause it if if we need to. Um, yes. Um, Lorraine, I'm going to Florida. I'm going. Um, our world's uh, nationals are there. Well, our world's uh, cheer worlds. Hello, Pam from customer service. How are you? I'm having a great weekend so far. Hello, Pam. I have been on a plane ever, uh, since 1959. Wow. Love that camera. That This camera angle. That's is it okay? I mean, I'm vertical though. I mean, no, we're not really. I'm not really vertical. No, this, you're not. This. I don't. Let's whenever see. I, whenever I go on Streamyard and go live, it gives us flashes of light. But since I'm on her Streamyard, it's not going to do it. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. So I have no idea what I'm making. I've just got a bunch of stuff that's like 
sitting here. I've got a cutting board, a napkin, some little um, cutouts, and a happy spring napkin, and a cutting board. So I'm just going to kind of go with it and see where it goes because I didn't have enough time to come in here and plan. <laughs> but Kelly knows I, what the heck she's doing. <laughs> well, I just, I just got this together not long ago. This has been sitting on my floor for about a month. It's just a big old piece of chunky wood. I got it from Hobby Lobby. It had happy across the front of it. I sanded all that down. And it's been sitting here on my floor for a while. And I thought, okay, what do I want to do with it? So I grabbed a cross, a metal cross, mm -hmm. and some sheet music. And we'll just see what we get from that. That's what we're so doing. So this is definitely, we're, we're impromptu. In, in Improving over here with uh, our supplies, <laughs> right? <laughs> really right. Never, uh, either one of us really know what the outcome's going to be, but <laughs> exactly. We're, You're here, coming. we're hanging out. We're going to have a great time. Everybody's been begging for a ladies' night, and I was like, "I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to do it." So here we are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have this. Stuff. Well, actually, Kelly sent this to me. Sent this to me. So if she wouldn't have sent this to me. I wouldn't have my happy spring. <laughs> I was like, I know I have something. And I pulled out the bag that she had sent me. And it was like, that's where it was. <laughs> yep. Yep. But uh, if anybody uh, wants to come on panel and chat with us, Elaine, you're welcome to. Um, yes. I know some of the rest of you don't really do that kind of thing. But you're welcome to. I'm going well, to. Well, Angela does. She comes up every once in a while. Oh, does she? Okay. Well. But we're keeping it ladies only um, on the panel. Um, everyone's welcome in chat, but ladies only on the panel because it's ladies night. <laughs> and please be respectful. Please be yes. respectful. Um, be respectful. Or be funny. You if, you're not, if you're yeah. coming here to be disrespectful, it better be funny as hell or you're getting the boot. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can get down with some funny stuff. Uh, listen, right? nobody can roast me like I can roast myself. So, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Redson, what am I going to do with this cost? <laughs> All right. So, let me figure out. Let me. <clears throat> oh, oh, my God. I need my cinnamon. I need to grab the cinnamon. Hold on. Look at the cinnamon. <laughs> and I may do some. Light gray. Let me check that out and find it real quick. That's it. I just kind of jumped in here and grabbed the stuff off the floor and said, okay, this is what I'm working on. Hey, Robin. How are you? Hey, Robin. Hey, sweetheart. How are you doing? I hope you're resting and getting better and all that good stuff. <laughs> I like your new... Uh, your new little stickers. Those are pretty cool. I just seen it on the way home when I was scrolling. I was like, how freaking cute is that little cartoon character? It looks just like her. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'm going to try to use this white paper here without it going flash. So um, I think I'm going to work on this first on this cross here so it can dry. So is everybody check. having a great weekend so far? Everybody's weather cooperating. I hope so. My it got up to 90 today. Wow. It got hot. That's me, crazy. but I turn me, but I turned into a cartoon. <laughs> right? Yes, you did. <laughs> but it's a cute cartoon. Um, I need a daughter. A dauber. Let's see. Pin message. There we go. Hey, Billy Bob. Hello, Billy Bob. Okay, no worries, Robin. No worries. Okay. All right. I will. Turn my phone off because I can see on here. Okay. All right. Oh, 
Elaine. <laughs> I didn't see you. That's okay. What you doing, girl? I'm being lazy. <laughs> lazy? Any other no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, wait, just, let me turn off my echo. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just being lazy. I've, I've been lazy all darn day long. You need that. But how's Doc how's Doc feeling today? She said she's feeling a little bit better, but she's still a little bit under the weather. Um, I asked her if she wanted to go live, and she said, well, I'll try. And I thought, no, I'm not even going to bother because I didn't, you know, she needs some rest. She didn't, you could tell she wasn't feeling good at all when I went over there, and she was in bed, sound asleep. Aww. She said she went into her room. I got to move this over here so I can be looking at you. <laughs> so she said she went into the bedroom to sit down or to get dressed. And um, she sat down and went to sleep. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. She, yeah. That, she, she wasn't feeling good. Yeah. And she... Just, you know, with everything going on, I think it's a little bit of the anxiety or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you know. There's my Lydia. Hello, sweetheart. How are you? Hello, Lydia. I, I hope you had fun today with your friend. Oh, goodness. I'm trying to get y'all adjusted. I think this is okay. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we can see everything. Cool. Margie, hey, Margie. hello, sweetheart. How are you? Hi, Margie. Yeah, and you she, but she's, she says, you know you go to the, she says, you know how you go to the hospital and have stuff done, and then you the next day you're sick, and... <laughs> Well, she had that. She had the port put in, correct? Yes. So is that giving her trouble? No. Well, she says it's. It feels like it's really tight. She says. I said, well, hmm. maybe after it's in use a few times, it won't be that tight. Mm -hmm. But um, it, you know, they've got it completely covered. I told her to take a warm shower, and it'd probably make her feel better. Yeah. You know, so. Lydia wants to know if she can come up. You sure can. Yes, you can, my love. I'd love to see you. Absolutely. I'm watching. It's supposed to ding me when people try to come up, but it don't always do that. I know. Mine never dings. Either. Yeah, mine doesn't either. You know, sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Hello, you guys. Hello, Hello Lydia. my beautiful Lydia. How are you? I'm doing good. Oh, awesome. she sounds real happy. <laughs> <laughs> what, what were you up to? <laughs> I'm not doing anything. I'm just working on my blanket, but yeah. Oh. oh. I know. I didn't know if I wanted to do some crocheting because, I, well, I've been doing crocheting all afternoon. I've just been sitting around doing nothing. Uh, I mean, crocheting. So, um, I make a Dorothy a lap blanket. Awesome. So, yeah. So that when she sits outside and smokes, she can have a, you know, a blanket over her legs. Yeah. But Poor uh, Mama Bear said if she's like that tomorrow, she needs to go to the doctor. Yes, yeah. Well, she she did say she felt a little better. I said you need to eat. Um, her boyfriend brought her some Pedialyte, so hopefully that helps because I, you know, I think she needed those electrolytes. Yeah. Yeah, because she has not been eating right. <laughs> no, she hasn't. Oh. Florida Mama Bear said Dot needs a lap dance. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to tell her that. <laughs> That'll get her up and going. Yeah. 
I had to text her and see if she's awake. Let me find my phone. And I, I'll just text her and see if she's awake, if she wants to hop in the chat and talk to everybody. Center stage off. I don't know why that does that on its own, but if y'all hear a, a weird command thing playing, it's my camera. It talks to me. <laughs> oh, that's nice. At least then you not, don't feel alone. So, Lydia, <laughs> did you have fun with your friend today? Yes, I did. Awesome. Awesome. What did you do? Where did you go? Um, we just hanging out. Oh, that's fun. Yep. It's fun when you don't I have haven't to seen that friend for almost two years, two, three years. Because he moved away. Oh. So well, I'm glad you had a good time. Sometimes he come, he follows my YouTube channel. Oh. Sometimes he doesn't. <laughs> that happens. Yeah. I have that a lot too. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me drive this. So how's your blanket coming along, Lydia? Give me one moment. Let me finish this row, and I will show you guys. Awesome. Is it the colorful one, the great big one that you're doing? Yeah. Are you getting close <laughs> to getting done? I think so. Oh, good. <laughs> I hope so. Some is coming, and I don't want to do it when it gets super hot. Yeah. I don't blame you. Today we got like 89 degrees here where I'm at. Wow. Oh, we, we were we were 80 something yesterday. Today we got like 53 and 100 mile an hour winds. Oh wow! Oh, my God. Uh, well, that's winds. a big difference. Oh yeah, it dropped like 30 degrees today. That's so crazy. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to be nice Monday because that's when I go get that CT scan or whatever it is. Just yeah. a just a base one so they can follow <laughs> if anything comes up. So mm -hmm. Nothing's come up. So, so far we're good. So, it's Elaine, like I didn't know you crocheted. Have you been doing that for a while or is this something you're just you're picking up on? Oh, no. I've crocheted for a long time. Really? I used to crochet with my grandma for years. Mm -hmm. and Dorothy knows how to crochet also. Does she? Yeah. We used, to, <laughs> we used to crochet with our uh, grandma, and I, I know how to knit, um, but I don't know how to end it. I mm -hmm. knitted on the things, and I just kept knitting away and kept getting longer <laughs> and longer, and then I thought, I don't know <laughs> I don't know how to end it. So, Ellie, do I have to show you how yes, to Yes, you do, Lydia. One day you will have to show me how to do that. <laughs> I do, yeah. I, know, yeah. <laughs> I, I did the same thing. Yeah. I did the same thing. I didn't know how to end it. I just kept going around and around in a circle till I had a rug. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, crocheting. Yes. Yeah, on crochet I know how to end. I just don't know how to end with uh knitting. You know, all my all my uh pearls on one and the uh, the other one has all the <laughs> So yeah, Lydia'll have to help me out. I'll have that to one. show you. Yeah. It's pretty easy. Yeah. I do not know how to knit, but I can crochet. Really? Yeah. Okay. I taught myself how to crochet off of YouTube years ago. Oh, yeah? I taught myself to crochet and knit. No grandma did crochet oh, and knit. Yeah. I taught myself everything. I taught myself how to knit, but not crochet. Crochet, my grandma taught, but I was only like seven, eight years old mm -hmm. when we started doing We were making little... Um, we use this uh, like embroidery yarn, the real tiny string that they used to make the doilies with. Mm -hmm. And we made 
we made these bells for Christmas tree ornaments and starched them and everything. It was it was a lot of fun. I, I don't remember how to do it, but I'm sure I could catch back on once I got started. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he can use uh, embroidery floss with those. Yes. Or shave them and, and you know. Yeah, because they're little ornaments, you, yeah. you know. Maybe that's what I should do on my all my red embroidery floss. Oh, sure. Dorothy's Dorothy said she's she said she's lurking, but okay. she, she's in bed, so there's no way she can text and chat. So okay, Dorothy's watching. Hi, Dorothy. You're just Hi, Dorothy. Is this loud? Yeah, it's loud. Is it loud? No, no. I don't hear nothing. I yeah, okay. I don't either. Okay. Poor <laughs> Mama Bear said she, she they were in the nineties today, and now it's fifty nine. Oh gosh, yeah, we're we're at, we're at fifty two yeah, with there. high winds right now. Wow! And I'm wanting my ear cushioner, my window ear cushioner AC, so. If you hear the background, that's what's going on. What I have on. Oh, okay. We probably won't hear it. The only one we hear is Dorothy's heater. <laughs> 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 and when that blower comes on, man, it blows right there next to her computer. Hey, Dot, since you're lurking and you can't text. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's in bed watching us on TV. Uh, uh. Hello, my sweet friend. Yeah. I hope you get the feeling better. Me too. Does anybody have any plans for tomorrow, or is everybody being lazy? <laughs> I'm being lazy tomorrow. Wait. No, I can't because one of my other friends comes and see me tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Just Dorothy just made it this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Dorothy just texted and said, oh, thank you all. And then she put, especially you, Elaine. <laughs> 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 what did I do, Dorothy, that especially me? <laughs> Uh-oh. Sums up. She wants some. <laughs> I asked her this morning if she needed anything. She said, no. Nah, Dot can't throw the shit at us tonight, right? <laughs> yep. She'll have to keep her own poop in a pile. <laughs> no shit slinging tonight. <laughs> Yeah, poor thing. Wish she felt better. Yeah, right? I know. Yeah. Bless her heart. She just one thing after another with that girl. She's a tough cookie though. She, well, is, she yeah. She is definitely she is definitely a fighter. I can I can say that for a fact you know she's definitely a fighter she even fights with me <laughs> <laughs> because i love you and you take good care of me she just said oh i know she's she's a sweetheart and a brat at the I'm same time. I'm clip and record it. She's being, <laughs> she's being right? nice to her sister. <laughs> yeah, clip and record, right? Clip and record, clip and record. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie Nettles. How are hey, you, Stephanie. sweetie? Hey, Stephanie. Good to see you. Oh, I forgot to share this out. Stephanie, I've got to find you on Facebook. Every time I see you, I remember I need to need to see um, and request you so I can see all your paintings. 
She, she oh, Stephanie she Payne. Yes. yes. Oh, I got to see them. I'd love to see them. Facebook page. Oh, okay. That's where I can find her then. All right. Mm -hmm. Under Stephanie Nettles. Okay. I'll remember that one. <laughs> okay. I've got, I just have to remember to do it. <laughs> yeah. I sidetracked. Um, what? Okay. And I Robin, can, um, Robin. Start what the, um, I can start the, um, the, uh, true crime whenever y'all are ready. Just let me know. Oh, okay. We're ready whenever you are, babe. I'm just here. I'm just hanging out. I was trying to do something different <laughs> instead of, um, <laughs> Like the trivia and stuff, and I thought, well, that'd be good. What's up, bud? <coughs> Sounded fun to me. Yeah. I know I we've talked like husband. several times. I'm, all, I'm all into the true crime stuff, so. You what? Yeah. So I'm all into that true crime stuff. So is Dorothy. Oh, she'll get a kick out of this then. Oh, yeah. She loves true crime. That trying to figure out the next picture to paint. The what? Stephanie says she's trying to figure out the next picture she's going to paint. Oh, I want to get this blanket done so I can start doing that on time and painting stuff, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I What's up, bud? I have a conspiracy. I want to make tea, but I'm really contemplating it. A mixed tea? I want to make tea. Oh, we'll make tea. <laughs> My son's out here. <laughs> like if I don't come in the house, they'll come find Man, me. Man, he's, he's got a deep what? voice. I thought that was your husband. <laughs> he better I, have a deep voice as big as he is. <laughs> uh, yeah. It would look pretty funny if he had a squeaky voice and sticks eight. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, my goodness. That is Oh, big. man, I just trashed this. You just what? I said, I just trashed this whole thing. Uh-uh. Yeah, I did. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, do you have any JB Weld? <laughs> no, I'll fix it. Okay. <laughs> Just one little spot. Okay. All right. I just got to let it cool here. Because I ain't touching it. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> out her neck. <laughs> hey, m and m and living in Turkey. I haven't seen you for a long time. Who's that? Oh, m and Hello, hello. It's good to see you. How is uh how is your husband doing? I know he was ha he had some things going on and I haven't had a whole lot of time to go and watch videos, so I'm not caught up up to date. Let me see if this other camera is in the right spot. Cool down. Oh, well, that's hot. There we go. There we go. Let me put this around here a little bit. He's coming along. He had some strokes. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. He had a stroke. Bless his heart. Aww. Did you show us your blanket yet, Lydia? Not yet. I'm still working on this <laughs> line. She's trying to get a row done. <laughs> Let me get the row done and yeah. then I'll show you. The blanket is huge, but it's beautiful. 
Well, thank you, Elaine. You're welcome, hon. It, it is huge. It's so pretty. It's got a lot of color. I love color. I'm hoping to get it done before I come back to move my tongue away from my channel. Yeah. You probably will. Yeah. You probably will. I should have cut this paper down before I started folding. I'd say I'd post your link, but I think everybody in here has your link. Lydia? I think so. No. Not on this one. Oh, wait a minute. Nightbot. You, I think you can put. Oh, yeah, um, you do have the Nightbot, too. I don't remember. Is it ex explanation? Uh, get baked? I think so. Let me try. Let's see what it does. Explanation get vaped? Get baked. Oh, get baked. <laughs> Duh. I thought I I thought I heard her say vaped and I was thinking, okay. Here's what the cross looks like. Ooh, that's pretty gilly. Oh, I like it. Where did you crack it? What? I thought you said you cracked it. No, I took I put the brush right in a part of where the cinnamon part, the rust, oh. and it lifted the rust right up. Okay, well, I you can fix it. that. Yeah. Yeah, that so looks good. Thank you. That's why I told you if you had any JB Weld. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said you cracked it. No. Okay, put that in the water. I'm done with that. <coughs> now I'm start working on this here. There you go. Yeah, I just got to remember what it is. <laughs> Um, no, hashtag, hashtag get baked. Hashtag get baked. Yes, and it'll post, post, um, post your link. All um, right. Let's see. I need somebody, uh, show me how to do neck bot. I know, me too. I'm still yeah. working on mine. That's working. So if you want to post your link for everybody to check you out, it's hashtag get baked. That's it. Okay. <laughs> hashtag get baked. Oh, I did one. I forgot all about it. I did it so that I could help help Kelly get it on hers. But Kelly doesn't like to push buttons. Uh -huh. <laughs> Couldn't push buttons, so I I usually do it, and uh, that way I can tell her, okay, click this, click that. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Because if she gets lost, she we don't know how to help her from there. <laughs> yeah, you, you, it's easier to walk them through it when you're doing it. Yes. That's yes. exactly true. That's. Lost and it. most of everybody has um, iPhones, and she's Android, and I have Android. So when someone's trying to help her, they don't know. I have really Android, too, so. <laughs> well, I can help you, too, then. <laughs> yeah, because I have an uh, iPhone, and I, but I work off the computer, and it's different than on the phones. Oh, yeah. And it I don't really know is. why, yeah. but it is well, oh, I different. used to get my lives on my phone until I got my laptop. Yeah, see, I do all mm -hmm. mine on my computer, and it's a bitch to figure out sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Technology has changed so much. I mean, what, since I been, was started school, it was compute. You had computer every every year all year long so you were up to date but it's like since i've been out of school i, I don't know how all this works <laughs> we had typewriters and they weren't electric no nope, we didn't have yeah we didn't have electric typewriter i mean we had typewriters that yeah. was our computer class yep that's exactly <laughs> i had it. typing on the 
on regular typewriters and then we got computers and then I got computer work. Yeah, we mm -hmm. we didn't have all that fun stuff. And I was a rebel without a cause, so I wouldn't cut my nails down. I refused to cut my nails. <laughs> oh, so I can't type it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I was like, you're going to make me cut my nails. And I will show you the blanket. Okay. She's going to show us her blanket. I need a crack. All right. I'm ready. Can I'm you on the get, screen? Let me get this blind. I'm almost done. I'm almost playing. In. And then I will show you. Okay. Um, six tea bags and a full pot. It's gonna make two two gallons. That's though. what I'm saying. So you need yeah. make more. And she teaching my kid how to make some tea over here. <laughs> yeah. In the coffee maker, it's like just put some tea bags in there and some water in the pot. And I don't like them to use the stove. They scare me because I'm scared they're they're gonna leave it on or. Yeah, you too, boy. Because you don't pay attention to nothing. He goes, me? Yeah, you, especially you. <laughs> especially you. Toaster. Yeah, they've got an air fryer, a toaster, and a coffee maker. If they can't make something happen with that, then they're not hungry enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hear what, exactly what you're saying. <laughs> Although my kid was cooking at a young age, real young age. <laughs> Yeah, I was too. I could cook a full meal at six years old. These kids don't know how to do anything. Yeah, see, that's that's <laughs> the way Chris is. He and he's still like that. He and if there's a restaurant that you want to know about, trust me, that boy will know about it. He knows every restaurant <laughs> around, but he's a good cook. Oh, it's going up a pipe. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, um, it's definitely a different time, you know, because growing up, you know, mom and dad went to work, and if we were out of school, we we just had to fend for ourselves. Yeah, that's the way it was when. See, it was just me and my boys at that time um, when he was cooking. Mm -hmm. uh, we, I was separated and raising two boys that I had to work, you know. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, he turned out to his favorite thing Hi, to make was, was French toast. Okay, I can chat a bit. I'm rendering awesome. All right, Robin. Did you get all your editing done? And by the way, how are you feeling? Was it last? She, I think she was on last. Was it last night or the night before? And she looked really good. Yeah, yes, the night before when she was giving us all an update. I believe mm -hmm. it was night before. It might have been last night. Shoot. I don't even know what today is. Saturday. I know, yeah, I, I know that tomorrow is my mom's birthday. Really? Yeah, we miss her. She's not with us anymore, but tomorrow she would be 84 years old. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, she's been gone. In July, it'll be six years that she's been gone. And Aww. we miss her terribly, but I see my mom and Dorothy every day, every time we're on panel, every... <laughs> Dorothy, Dorothy's a clone of my mom. Oh. I can see some features that y'all look alike, but really, y'all, yeah. y'all, you must... You Do you look like your dad? Yes, I look more like my dad. 
That's the way my brother and I are. My brother yeah. looks more like my mom, and I look more like my dad. It's Thank you, Robin. Yeah. I go Thursday Stephanie to the Stephanie says north. she goes back Thursday to find out what can be done for her migraines. Oh, I hope they figure it out. I know she's been struggling that for, with that for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully they figure something out that can help her because those migraines just are physically and mentally. Yeah, draining. <laughs> draining. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think I did this backwards. Sorry, Dorothy. I got to start over. <laughs> oh, I did it anyway. So <coughs> maybe I can. Uh, the older I get, the more I start to look like my mom, but I, I have like my dad's color and eyes and hair and yeah. stuff like that. I have a I lot look, of people, a lot I of older. Like my, I look like my mom, but I also look like my dad. So you got a You're little bit of both of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my, um, shit, how am I going to fix that? Oh, I know how I can fix it. Okay. I know what I can do. This is experimental stuff, guys. I'm a <laughs> That's the best thing. I love experimental. Yeah, it's definitely experimental. So if I, I'm trying to fit it into this book. So if I go up there, okay that far. Oh, I like it just like that. Yeah. Okay. I don't need any more. I'm on my last one and I can show you guys the blanket. Okay. Awesome. Hurry up. No, it's kidding. <laughs> yeah, Miss Red. <laughs> I'm in patience. Let me move my table back and I will show you. I'm going to turn off the mic and camera just a minute, but I'll be right. Ooh. That way I can show you better. Okay, okay hon. Hey, Robin, you can drop your link by typing in hashtag get baked. <laughs> uh, hashtag get big. That's a good one. I love it. I put mine. I put mm -hmm. mine as crafting. No, mm -hmm. that's Kelly's craft. My no, mine is uh, uh, explanation point kindness. Oh, kindness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I always forget. I always forget to share my link in any place. So it's just nice to have Nightbot just do it for you. <laughs> yeah, right. It sure is. I, I can't All wait. Right, guys, are you ready? We are yes. ready. Hold on, hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. Born ready. <laughs> oh, how wow. pretty. That's really pretty. Isn't My it, it, gosh. It's huge. It's huge. That is huge. Got it, and it's gotten a I lot bigger since it. the last time I seen it. It's huge, <laughs> I <said>, guys. <laughs> so it's take you forever, but yeah. Yeah, it's super Oh pretty. my god, that was so pretty. Thank you. Very pretty. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everyone. It looks bigger than it did the last time I seen it, so I know you've been working on it. Yep. Yep. Yes, very pretty. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Robin says, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Angela says, very pretty. Thank Stephanie you, Stephanie says, oh, beautiful. Thank you, everyone. Florida Mama Bear said, oh, my God, that's very pretty. <laughs> I think my chat stopped. 
No. Uh -oh. oh, it did? <laughs> there we go. There we go. I got him. Hello. Okay. <laughs> All right. You did. Um, I'm not counting all of me up because I want to make sure. Um, so far, I've been. This is the. Let me. This one is 18. But I'm, I'm keeping the ball pants as well. So, yeah. It's not quite done yet. Yeah, it's going to be nice. Yes, it is. Thank you, guys. That's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. <laughs> it's fun. It looks like we're going to have... Oh, no, that'll work. Looks like I'm going to be making an upside-down pocket. But that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> An upside-down pocket will work. This is my one of my practice things that I'm trying to... Uh, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, okay. babe. Now, let me get, uh, let's see, I don't know, I just don't know. Yeah, I didn't know if I wanted to use black, or, but I can stick with, oh, wait, I did it, I didn't fold it all the way. You even have an extra line on this one, Dorothy, the one that's going to be upside down. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, that's going to be on the side, so I can write something. <laughs> I've got so many folds, I should have measured what I was doing. I thought, <laughs> oh, I could probably make something that, because I've been watching several, and I thought, oh, I can make that. I already made little files for inside her journal. They look like little files. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this is one right here. I'm not done with it, but this is kind of what they look like. They're real easy to put together, but they're little pockets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This one's not done yet either, but they're little pockets so you can stick stuff in. Mm -hmm. so it's got one. It's got four pockets. But the one that I finished, see, then I stamped little grommets in it. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, sort of, kind of. I put the little grommets yeah. in them and um, stamped little numbers on them. So they look like files. I did get a couple numbers upside down, but, you know. Backwards, upside down. It's yes, hey, hey, that's me. That's me. So I thought I would go bigger than this, than this one, so that I could make mistakes that don't look so bad. <laughs> <laughs> that that worked. And then I got me some jumbo paper clips for these things. Look at these jumbo paper clips. These things are huge. Oh my gosh, those are huge. I know. I, I just was looking for the size like this. No, that is the jumbo now. I was looking for this size, you know. And they're just, you know, you, you're just bigger paper clips. And so mm -hmm. I ordered jumbo and I got these. See, I wanted to get these, and I got these. <laughs> so, yeah, they're a little bit different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> but I'm using them, so, hey, that's all that matters. I've got a large, I've got a large paper clip here, too, that I don't know what to do with. <laughs> I got a whole... No, box. actually, it's like a... Oh, it's a, it's a giant clothespin. Oh, okay. And I haven't figured out what to do with it yet. Um, yeah, I'm sure you I will. To, I have to stare at it for a while. Yeah. 
まあ Yep, I have to look at stuff for a while before I figure out what I'm going to do, too. Exactly. I do the same thing, but then I start changing my mind when I do start putting stuff with it. And uh, I'm glad I have that desk behind me. <laughs> Or all them desks. All of them are covered with crap. Like, what am I going to do with this? What am I? I need to clean it. That's probably what I should have done today. But I cleaned my garage up. It's all nice and clean. Um, and I bought a golf cart for out at the property. Oh. Yeah. That sounds like fun. I want to live in a golf cart community. <laughs> yeah, it's a cute little golf cart, too, man. It's a little two-seater. And then I'm going to make a, I want to make a basket out of a milk crate or something so I can put the dogs in it. Oh, yeah, that would be cute. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Stir Crazy. How are you, honey? Hey, Stir Crazy. What are you up to? And Stephanie Nettles said something up here. It says, I knitted a blanket that took me three months to knit. Knitted it when I had my gallbladder taken out. Made knitted pillow shams, too. Oh, wow. I bet it's pretty. Yep. That's cool. I bet it is. Yeah, those. I started I, I'm this you, blanket about maybe end of September and it's April. Yeah, it's taking me a little bit. Long. Yeah, but that's not the only thing you've been working on either. Yes, it has. Oh, I thought you were working on some other stuff too. Nope. Hold oh, on. Well, that's it. Hey, yep. Mr. Stir Crazy. Hello. <laughs> so what? What's Stir Crazy up to? Sugar? Do you want? Do you want more sugar? I might have to go fix me another cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Can you drink coffee and go to bed? It doesn't bother you. Yeah, it don't bother me one bit. Nah, it don't bother me neither. Yeah, I, I coffee. I I like coffee because I like the taste of it, not because it keeps me awake. Yeah. See, I can drink coffee and go to sleep, but if I drink tea, it keeps yeah. me awake. Really? Oh, it keeps me up for days. Yeah, tea gets me all hyped up. Yes. I don't. I I like iced tea. Sweet tea, especially sweet tea, southern tea. Mm -hmm. I don't put sugar in my tea, though. Oh, you don't? Um, nope. Oh, I think it tastes bitter without sugar, but that's me. Yeah, I don't put sugar in my tea. Well, I don't drink tea, so. Yeah, I, I like tea. But when I did, yeah, I did. But, man, tea, after drinking tea, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> yep. Not much. Just taking Yesterday a break. I, I thought I would check YouTube. Well, good. I'm glad you came in. And one of my clients um, had a, a procedure done yesterday, so we were in the. Um, That's what Kelly said. Yeah. And um, I had drank like three cups of um, coffee. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, let me go to the bathroom before we head out because we had an hour, hour and a half drive back. Oh, heck yeah. I had to stop um, about 20 miles before we got back. I was like, I'm so sorry, but I can't make it. <laughs> was like, yeah, that's okay. I'm going to go in here and get a snack because he had a, a colonoscopy, so he wasn't able to eat. Oh, yeah. Oh, the best part started. of a Colonoscopy is the fart. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It is. I'm telling you. I Ray took me for colonoscopy, the first one I ever had. And um, I was kind of in and out of it, you know, from the med medication. And I was, I was farting, and I kind of raised my head. And him and the nurse were sitting down by the foot of my bed just talking away. And I was farting and laughing and everything else. 
<laughs> it, what, what woke me up was the big fart at first, and I thought, God, that felt good. I never fart like that. I mean, I fart, but not, not like you do after a colonoscopy. Let me put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> I always tell everybody that. Don't worry about the colonoscopy. The best part is a fart after. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, and I felt so bad because the guy next to us couldn't fart and it, they were they were rubbing his stomach and stuff. He was he oh. wasn't yeah, he wasn't feeling good at all. And um you know they fill you up with all that air, so yep. got to yeah. come out somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I walked in this morning, and um, he has the my client has twenty four hour care. So the other girl was there. I walked in, and we have a monitor where you can hear, um, see and hear him in his bedroom when we're not in there. And uh -huh. I walked in and he let one rip as soon as I walked in the door. And I was like, well, good morning. She was like, girl, it's been like this all night. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the best feeling ever. <laughs> it is the best feeling ever. That's so funny. <laughs> I've never had one, so I don't know what it's like. But <laughs> I had two going. I had two of them done on me so is it the best part of fart lydia i just don't care for them i need to do another one but you know colon cancer is in my family so oh okay <coughs> well yeah apparently it's in ours too now i'm with my sister but mm -hmm. and breast cancer uh so we I have guess. breast cancer. I guess she's um, the only one I know that's had that in our family. We got breast cancer, diabetes, and high blood pressure is about the Ooh. worst part of my yeah, life. Which... Ours is all the hypertension, the high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And that's all my mom had. That's what my dad had. Um, I don't think my dad had high blood pressure as long as mom did, though. <coughs> and then, um, and then Dorothy with all this stuff, you know, it's mm -hmm. just, she's had a hell of a road. Yes, yeah, she has. Yeah, that she can't have caffeine right now, and it's not fair. <laughs> okay, oh, Robin. Yeah, good. I forgot Robin. because um, I said that in uh, what if I could in John's chat. I said mm -hmm. I think it's time for another cup of coffee, and she said uh, coffee. Oh, I forgot what she said. What'd you say, Robin? Something about. I forgot what she said, but it was something uh, that she didn't get coffee or she didn't say she couldn't have it. She just said coffee. I forgot the word she used. What did you say, Robin? <laughs> I know. I'm hoping she puts it out there again. Elaine's having a senior moment. Yep. <laughs> and I have them a lot. I do have them a lot. <laughs> I got my mom with that yesterday because she couldn't she couldn't figure out what she was trying to say. I was like, okay, senior moment. <laughs> <laughs> right. Huh. Yeah, it happens to me a lot. I oh, shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, looks like we're getting one some. of these days. I'll get her on here because y'all, she's a hoot. She, y'all would love her. Sounds like it. That would be fun. Having hey, Miss Beth, can I show you out on my community tab? You sure can. Okay, I want to make sure it's okay before I do that. Oh, I didn't yeah. check to see if it was okay. I already did it. 
<laughs> You're nice, Lydia. Well, I know I like people. Don't give a damn. I know <laughs> people have rules on their channels, so I was oh. just want to make sure it's okay before I. I that's very nice. I just, I, I, if I go in there and I like him, I will hit the thumbs up, or I always hit the thumbs up and share him out. And so I do that to everybody because there hasn't been anybody I don't like. <laughs> oh gosh. You just let me that. Yeah, I want to do it this way. Okay. Yeah, you do share a lot. That's how that's how I go into different chats. Is I go and check your community page. I'm like, what? Who's doing what? Yeah, well, exactly. I, do. I do, and I I do it. Um, you know, and a lot of people will say, uh, hit the like and sh you know share it out, and I I say okay. I don't say I already did. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm really not going to say I already did. <laughs> oh, lordy. Yes, hey, I can share it out. That's fine. Just know that sometimes it gets crazy in here. <laughs> yeah, well, that's... I know what you're saying. Hmm. Not anything terrible. Yeah, I'm going to have to go just... on the floor a minute. You're gonna have to go on the floor. What are you doing? What are you doing? I have to do some hammering, and I am not hammering on my table. Oh, no. yep. Get on the floor. Yep. I, now, Kelly, Dorothy, do you see the? <laughs> she's probably already asleep. Yeah, my mom, she couldn't drink coffee after um, 2 o'clock. I remember her saying, okay, give me some decaffeinated coffee. Yeah, that's not drinking. That's not even coffee. Yeah, and that's um, after 2 p.m. is when oh. she would do that because it would keep her awake. So at 2 mm -hmm. p.m., she didn't have any more coffee. She or she did, but it was decaffeinated. We can still we, hear that. We can hear you, <laughs> Kelly. Ladies, we're not falling over. <laughs> we need now. We need a floor camera, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, hon. Okay. Okay, there's... Get down, Kelly. <laughs> Florida Mama Bear said, get down, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got Kelly. down, I'm drinking up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how cool is this? She needs an Advil for her hammering. <laughs> I need earplugs. Any loud noises? Just, oh. Oh, that's pretty, Kelly. <coughs> no, wow, that is pretty. Oh, I like that. So do I. I have no idea what I'm going to put in the center of my, of my cross, though. What about some? Um, Give me some suggestions, guys. I probably have it. What should I put in the center of my cross? Oh, God, that's mm. Hold on, I gotta push down the. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. It looks so cool. It's cool like that way, but mm, let's see. What can you put on there? Maybe some, maybe a um, a tattered ribbon. Oh, yeah. oh! You know, a small tattered ribbon in the middle. Okay. Like some 
Oh, white whatever. muslin with the edges uh, rough. <coughs> you see what I got here? Maybe a bow. Maybe sure. make a small little bow. Yeah, a small yeah. little bow out of some uh, tattered ribbon or something. Tattered. <coughs> Darn it. Okay, Excuse hold me. on. I got it. I got it. I'll see what it looks like. It doesn't have to stay. If I don't like it, it can go. Yeah, I hear you. I don't want that. Uh, that one was a no. <laughs> comments won't show up on my computer, but it's showing on my phone. Yeah, I can see you. The comment on the end on my site on my it's, laptop. It's not showing up on your computer. No. Um, what about um? First, the comment <laughs> on it, um, Miss Ben. Well, I usually leave the um. Well, that's this is me, but. I put the YouTube channel up next to my uh, StreamYard in case. Yeah, I, I do that the too. Chat in my StreamYard. Yep. You know how to do that? No. <laughs> you can okay. Make make your YouTube or your um. Open your, your YouTube app. Your StreamYard, just make it half the size of your computer screen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, and then open a YouTube and uh, put your channel in there. There we go. I got it. You got it. I knew you'd get it. <laughs> I knew it. Okay, now I can see. I don't know why it keeps freezing on, on my end. It, it was doing that. It'll do that on StreamYard. I've caught that several times I where I couldn't see chat. Really? <laughs> yeah, so I would um, put it on, my, on the YouTube channel so I could still see it. So if that goes out, I can still see the YouTube and still see StreamYard if someone came in, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. That's what works for you, that's for sure. Yeah. I used to do that on my channel. You did? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's easier for me to do that than... Okay, here it is with the bow. Oh, Ooh. that's Oh, that's yeah. I love it. I love, love it. it. I think you kind of dressed it up a little bit. Yes, it made it pop somewhat. That looks good. I love it. I love it. I do, too. <laughs> Kelly, you do a wonderful job. She does. Yeah, for just throwing some crap on my table. <laughs> Saying, here we yeah, go. I know it. Do what it turns out to look like. Uh, Sometimes those are the best ones that come out. Right, right. And I me, I don't, when I crochet or knit, I don't follow any patterns. I just crochet. You know, just like into my own. Uh, the one I'm making, I didn't follow a pattern either. Yeah. I just um, kind of like you did my own thing. Yep. All right, I believe I'm done. Really? Well, uh, you got us beat. <laughs> You got us beat, girl. <laughs> Just telling me earlier we, um, about the craft challenge. She was like, everybody's setting the bar so high. I'm like, oh, sheesh, Kelly. <laughs> oh, no. They are. Oh, my gosh. Florida mama there. Oh, hey. honey. 
I love your project. A Florida yeah. mama bear always does great. Yeah. It's always. really cute. Really cute. Yeah, Florida mama bear always does great. And all I've done was paint my bottles and put a thing on it. I haven't done anything else. Well, I haven't even started. I don't even know what I'm going to do. Oh, and that's when? That's Thursday, huh? Yes. Not this Thursday. Yeah, next Thursday. I know. Not oh, next Thursday, the Thursday after. Oh, okay. Well, good. I have a Yeah, because I'm not going to be in town. Oh, that's right. You're going... You're, you're, you're going, going to be away. Florida, yeah. <laughs> Whoops, I yes, I am. Well, cool. if you were driving, I would, I would be like, um, excuse me, stop by and pick me up, please. <laughs> right. <laughs> and we've decided we're not going to Universal Studios now. We're just, gonna go, we're just gonna go to the beach. A hundred and fifty dollars a ticket. Oh my yeah. goodness! Yeah, I don't think I would go either. And then have so to I'll go to the beach. If you're gonna spend a hundred and fifty dollars at in Florida, you can spend a hundred and fifty dollars for me in F. Uh, I'd rather take that money and go to Vegas. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, when do you come I don't to need Vegas a again? There. When do you come to Vegas again? I don't know when we're gonna be able to go. Um I'm hoping soon. <laughs> yeah, well, you'll have but, to let me know when so we can meet oh, you. I will. Um, I will. I will. Yeah, we'll meet you at State Line or something. Yeah. That would be fun. I want to go to Vegas. I've never been. <laughs> I've never been in Vegas. Never. Oh, my gosh. Never. It's two hours away from me, where I oh, live. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Where you live at, Elaine? I live in uh, Barstow, California. Okay. Yeah, Las Vegas is uh, two hours away going north, and going the other way is Los Angeles, two hours away. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah, so we have the beaches that way, and then that way we have the uh, Las Vegas. We I call it the, well, a lot of people do because a lot of us, you know, born and raised here. We call it the armpit between Los Angeles and Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's my project. Super cute. Oh, that looks so adorable. I like it. I love it with the music on there. Do do I. That looks great, Kelly. And these yeah, little boy. things here are the, the stickers from uh, Dollar Tree. I like it. And this, I, the cross I plucked off another project. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm gonna have to start doing is plucking some stuff apart just so I can fit them in the buckets. <laughs> in the buckets? Yeah, and my uh, containers that I keep. I, I call them buckets. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. Call them, I call them buckets, but they're just uh, plastic containers, you know, tubs. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, especially the theme stuff I keep in. I just throw them on a shelf. <laughs> yeah, well, you, if you looked at my desk, you'd think that's where I threw them. Florida Mama Bear said, Kelly, go to Old Town next to Orlando and kiss me. Oh, go to Old Town? Yes. What you do there? What's in Old Town? Yeah. Lydia, where are you at? I'm in Nebraska. Nebraska. Wow. I'm yeah, she's up there with Shay. Yep. Yeah. 
Yep. That's cool. So you get the cold, cold weather too. Yes. And summertime is super, super, super hot. Yeah. Yep. <coughs> One extreme to the next. Yep. That's the way it is here in the desert. Here too. And we're right. in Red. I'm in North Alabama. Okay. My friends are in Arab, Alabama. Oh, that's not far at all. Uh, maybe 45 minutes from me. Really? My best friend moved over there. Mm -hmm. How far are you from um, uh, Santorini in a uh, butterfly dream with Jeannie? Me? Yeah. Oh, I don't, where is she at? I in Alabama somewhere. <laughs> in Alabama somewhere. Well, that's a good one. <laughs> uh, I was, hold on, I gotta get more ice. I'll be right back. That was awesome, Lydia. <laughs> Alabama's a big place, I think. <laughs> I know my girlfriend, when she moved, she said she was going to Arab, Alabama. Yeah. She's not and, far at all. Yeah. She works at some store up there, I guess. I didn't even ask her what the name of the store was. <laughs> I think we made too much noise for my husband. He went to bed. Oh, <laughs> you know what? I'm we were interrupting his movie. <laughs> Yeah, my husband was watching his politics stuff, and I'll see if he's still awake. I'll be right back. They have rides, shows, stores from around the world. That might be something that we could do. We're leaving. I mean, we we're leaving on we're leaving on Tuesday. Wednesday we have a full day. Uh, we had to rent out a gym. From another gym, another gym is renting out their spaces, several of them are, for our girls to practice in. And so Wednesday we have a time um, where we have to go practice and they gave us two hours to practice. So that's good. And then the rest of the time, our time is ours. And then, uh, and then on Thursday they compete. So we'll be there all day. On Friday, if they go to the next round. We'll be there all day on Friday as well. And then on Saturday, we're going to the beach. Nice. Uh, and then Sunday, we come home. Say so, beach one more time. <laughs> what? I said say beach one more time. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. But if we don't go to the second rounds, which we don't plan on not going to the second round, um, if we don't go to the second round, then we'll figure out something to do during the day. But yeah, that'd be fun to go to around there. I mean, we are renting a car. It's not like we have to take a shuttle or anything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, that's fun. But Friday is planned, and and Thursday's planned, and Friday's planned. Saturday's open. Nice. Yeah, I like this. It turned out very rustic. Yeah, it's cute. You should show that on your Monday night, Monday live. Yeah, I like it. It turned out cute. And you were sitting over there worried. <laughs> well, I kind of was. <laughs> I had no vision. It just, here's what I got. This is what I'm doing. Normally, I have a kind of an idea of what it's going to look like. I had no idea what this was going to look like. I was going by the seat of my pants on this one. <coughs> pretty, pretty, pretty. pretty. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So when, when are you going for your trip? I can't remember. Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. She told me on that on FaceTime. What yep. are we gonna do all week, you guys? <laughs> Work on your craft challenge. Work on the craft challenge. That I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. 
Gosh, I bought, probably should have bought like three or four of these. I like these little pieces of wood. I used to watch the dancing dolls on Lifetime. What's that? I mean, probably crocheting and probably go, probably go. I used to watch the dancing dolls. I don't know who the dancing dolls were. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Was that like a dance team, Angela? It was like a dance team of several girls. It was almost like dance moms, only they were a dance team. It was like, I think I kind of remember something like that. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, they did some odd dances. <laughs> Yes, they did. My they were more gyrating than dancing, in my opinion. That's just how I felt. Like a cheerleader. Well, a eh, little different. <laughs> a little different. Robin's Day, I'm hungry. You're hungry. Well, that's a good sign. Fiber or protein? What can she have? Uh, what should I have? Protein. Pick, pick, uh, aren't you kind of picky? Are you a picky eater? <laughs> yes, twerking. Yes. Yeah, our cheerleaders don't twerk. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> I'll pop a hip out of place or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, protein. No, she's a picky cooker. <laughs> there's a difference. Well, I don't think there's any protein or fiber in a chocolate cake, and that's about the only thing I've seen you actually cook <laughs> or bake. <laughs> but chocolate cake works too. Chocolate anything works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, y'all should see Kelly's Kelly's first long uh subway cookie yesterday. I um, I wish I got three of them. <laughs> but I only <laughs> got one. I can't, I eat, love Subway sandwiches, but I can't eat them anymore because I can't have bread. Uh, oh, Kelly. Yeah. You can get it in a bowl now as a salad. Yeah. Yes, you can. My favorite, though, was the, um, the uh, steak one, the melted steak. Mm -hmm. Oh, with with peppers and olive uh, vinegar and olive oil, salt and pepper. Oh, those are so good. Bread, Kelly, pardon me. Why can you have bread? It upsets my stomach real bad. I don't know if it's the yeast. Can you? Oh, do really? you eat sourdough? Pardon me. Can you eat sourdough? I don't know. Sourdough is my favorite. See, I, like I don't eat all. I haven't had. I haven't had sourdough. I mean, I have had it once, but I, I mean, I don't remember it very well. Yeah, I, I like sourdough. That's my favorite. I don't like sourdough bread. No. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, I like it uh, cut thin. That uh, what is it? Sheep herders. Sorry. I used to work at Burger King, and um, there was one sandwich they wanted me to try it, and it was on sourdough bread. Mm -hmm. And they didn't tell me it was sourdough bread after I ate it. I'm like, oh, gross. <laughs> 
after you ate it, you didn't like yes. it. Yes. So you really like it. You just don't like the idea of it. <laughs> yeah. It, you don't like it because of the way it sounds. Yeah. <laughs> Sourdough. Do you like sour cream? No. <laughs> she doesn't like anything sour. <laughs> Subway has, uh-oh. Sourdough has footlong pretzels. They have a couple of new things that they're doing that's footlong. They're doing a churro, cookie, and pretzel. Oh, a churro. Mm. Uh -huh. I love churros. I well, get the sub in a bowl at Jersey Mike's and they put my dressing on the side so it does not get soggy on the way home. Oh, there you go. I always so have it's got bread salt. in it? So they put bread in it? No, it's just the veggies and the meat, I think. Well, what would get soggy? It pro probably the lettuce because don't they chop they chop it up so it's it's all. Oh, delicious. that's true. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> You're done. I'm done. Let me move my camera. Hold on. I'm going to have to order another camera so I can quit moving this one back and forth. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to try to get my cam, my, my thing fixed to where I can have it down like this. Because I like this. I like to be able to see. I don't like not being able to see. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that turned yeah. out nice. I love big cute. screen. I want to see big screen. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, that looks really good. Yeah. <laughs> I like the flowers you put in there. How cute. Yeah, I'm trying some dimension on them. Make uh -huh. them Did you even, you even made a stand on the back. How cute. <laughs> so I love sit. that. It'll sit up. Oh, that turned out nice. <laughs> You're going to have to do a live on how you made your stand. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I, I was showing Kelly before we came on. I got these... Um, Cutting boards. It was a two pack at Ross for three ninety nine. Oh so wow! Was, That's not bad. Or no, two dollars. And it, they're, they're the pretty good ones. You know, it's thick. Yeah, they're pretty thick. Yeah. But, but don't you have enough cutting boards? Didn't you just buy ten of them from Dollar Tree? I was like, <laughs> yeah, and I got two more from Kroger. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the other one. I only have three left. <laughs> but I got these um, and actually it's Mr. Red's fault because he's the one that showed me um, I barely show her stuff my husband just kind of pushes me aside kind of goes in front of me to the side of me <laughs> don't look over here <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stands in front of the aisle <laughs> yes but I got these um, Alderwood cheese boards from Kroger, they were in the um, the cheese section. Oh wow! 90, Ninety nine cents, and he was like, "Go ahead, get you some." I was like, "Really?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my He's husband. Like, he always, my husband always looks for stuff for me now, and he doesn't my throw anything away. He'll say, "Do you want this? Can you use <laughs> it?" <laughs> I got him exactly. Trained. Yeah, I got a whole stack of, of uh, cutting boards from Dollar Tree. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I guess you did. Cutting but board we, season. We were at um, a different Dollar Tree in a couple of towns over. Uh -huh. and we don't have them in ours around here. So I was like, well, shoot. I'm going to go ahead and get a few of them. <laughs> yeah. you. You're what crafters say. Hold on. Whenever you don't leave anything for anybody else. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, man, when we go to Dollar Tree, our Dollar Tree's jacked up. It's tiny anyway to begin with. It's small. Mm. But, um, 
Oh yeah, that'll work. You know that I have been in six Dollar Trees in the past, I'd say month and a half. Uh -huh. And you know what they said? They said that they were not ordering calendars anymore. What? Aww. What? Well, that Why? sucks because they want like fifteen bucks or so on the damn Amazon. I did buy well, me some napkins for tomorrow too. Did you? Yeah, through Amazon, I got them today, and they are some of them are just adorable. Oh, they said they weren't getting them because none of nobody was buying them. They were only buying the little cute. Ones. Nobody wants dogs and cats and birds and fly, you know horses and stuff like that. Right. They want the party ones. So that's why you had all those stupid ones left over. People yeah. want the crafty ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm glad that that you know ABD did give me quite a few napkins. I mean, uh, uh calendars. Yeah, last I bought, time. yeah, so. I bought a whole bunch of them. Robin yeah. says she's back with a protein shake and a bran muffin. Ooh. <laughs> there you go. Both. Bro there yep. You exactly. Go. These were the ones I was talking about. Um, the Betsy Johnson napkins at Ross. It's oh, butterflies yeah. and strawberries. Yeah, I got some um, butterfly one. Let me show you what I got now. Now that we're talking about it. A little but teaser for where, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I could do that too. Okay. Anyway, this uh, is what I made. Um, it's it's uh, for the Dorothy's Junk Journal. Oh, wait. Let me put it on the other screen. Um, where's there it is? Okay. My Robin table. says they put the same pictures from the previous year in new calendar. Then nobody wants them. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, this is what I did. It's um, Dorothy's little journal. I started, but I put in a, a open. It, you open it and you can put pockets in it so you can put your little notes in here of what you went through that day you know each, there's a pocket here a pocket here and a pocket here and then it closes up and you can still close the book that's cute yeah, and then I'll just like the it. Next page. I already did this page, you know, with a bunch of little sticker things. Oh, little, yeah. That's cute. And then um, I'm going to do something, of course, on this page. And mm -hmm. then I have the, the little pocket thing. So she can write a little note or I can put a, some dates or something because I'm trying to do it where... We go from the beginning to as far as we can go, you know, that we go till she's got this kicked. Mm -hmm. um, so I have, <laughs> I have all the, the dates and the orders from the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to put them in her, in her little thing. So it, yeah. it'll be, it'll be neat. Thank you, mama bear. Yeah. It, it's going to be cute. Because they put some pictures from the previous years in the new calendars, and then nobody wants them. Yeah. We, I don't I, care. I'll use them. It's like, <laughs> oh, man, do I really want to use that one? Because I don't want to, you know, what if it doesn't yeah. turn out? Yeah. But, so I keep using it. I mean, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. You know? that, Have you ever I, made a junk journal, Kelly? No, never have. That to me is like scrapbooking and scrap. I never had the patience for scrapbooking. See, I did a lot of scrapbooking and I have a lot of stuff for scrapbooking. I haven't had to buy anything. I just bought some new paper, you know, for different mm -hmm. things. But I have paper like it's coming out my ears. But um, so I really didn't have to buy anything uh, right. because I had everything. So, um when I started these, I thought, well, I can, I wanted to make one. I have one that I started for our camping for this year. It's, it's, uh, it's all about camping. And, um, on the, this page, our first camp out, I put a little tag in it. 
and um, I put uh, that's another little pocket I made, and then a couple of campers on here, <laughs> and then Cute. oh wait, Cute. I don't have anything in here, but here's the note that I wrote. Okay, here's the first time. The first time it was President's Weekend spent staying in fifth wheel camping weekend this was the first weekend we stayed no heat no hot water dogs loved it Jerry and Jeff our friends came out um, for the weekend in their trailer they did all the cooking I forgot pots and pans so that's my <laughs> for the first camping. and then the second time we went I put second time to CC ranch and I put I'll great right time, still no heat or hot water, <laughs> but we got rain, snow, wind, and it was Easter weekend. Got to take my new Jeep. Wonderful ride. So that's my other note for the camping oh. trip on, the, on this camping journal. But you didn't forget pots and pans this time. <laughs> no, this time I brought pots and pans and... <laughs> But I still didn't have to cook. I took everything over to my brother. <laughs> I let my brother cook everything, but yeah, it was it was fun. But yeah, doing I I like doing these junk journals. They're they're relaxing. Um, I had so much stuff from my scrapbooking times. You know, the little grommets with the holes in them. Mm -hmm. um, the little eyelets, you know, that spread. I got all different colors you could think of. And uh, stamps. I got stamps coming out my ears. So it's not like I really needed to buy anything to make them, you know, because they're just junk journals. Mm -hmm. I've already made Dorothy 2 with envelopes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was really neat. But, yeah, so that's what else I've been doing. And then in the evenings, I just sit in the living room with Ray, and I put my little neck light on and sit there and crochet while he watches his programs. <laughs> I don't watch a lot of TV at all. So. Let's see. I'm going to do something real quick. Ooh. I'm listening. I'm listening. I, I'm going to do something real quick. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's all I heard. I'm going to let you know, Miss Red, uh, trying to text me. I told her she, you were on. She said, I'm watching, but I can't chat. Oh. oh. Hi, China. Hi, China. <laughs> China. She's a sweetheart. I love to watch her. She's got all the little little guys. One of the times I want to try and make one of them, but you know, make some of the little things like what she's making. Yeah. I I want a somebody. So when I get the somebody, the one I want to make oh, is Missy. Missy, yeah. And um, so when I get the sun bunny, I want to make um, uh, the elephant. I like elephants. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, I like elephants. And so I, uh, I want to make one of the elephants. So I, I want to try. I mean, I know how to make granny squares. I know how to... Uh, you know, make the blankets, and I know how to do the pot holders and the scrubbies and all that, you know. So I know mm -hmm. several different stitches, so, but I want to try that, um, what is it? T, uh, starts with a T, that other crochet thing, uh, not Tasami or, God, what's it called? Tunisian, 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 yeah. I want to try that. 
I've never heard of that. Yeah, I to do it. Margie does. Margie does. Oh, okay. I was looking on a few um, when I was scrolling through Face or YouTube yesterday or today, actually, because I was sitting in there crocheting. And I was looking up some of the Tunisian things, and some of them are really pretty. Mm. The stitch is so totally different. It's just, it's so neat. I'll have to look it up and see what it looks like. Yeah, some of them are just as awesome. I mean, they're my hardest thing that I have, because um, I want to make me a flat bottom and a basket not a basket but you know like a bag mm -hmm. and um i want to make the bottom about so big around and flat but i can't get the tight circle going where it looks Good halfway decent. huh Robin's going bed oh good night honey i hope you feel better tomorrow you sound like you're doing better and better every day yeah it's tough though. I'm glad she's doing all right. Yeah. Well, I've already, I, I went through that when I was 27. But the younger you are, mm -hmm. the quicker it is to get back in. Uh, you know, I mean, the older you get. I cut my claw powder out when I was age. No, she had a hysterectomy. Oh yeah. Yeah. What I got my claw powder out when I was age. <laughs> right on, Robin. Eating and pooping. That's my life right now. <laughs> yeah, I just got my gallbladder out uh, two months ago now. Really? Yeah. Hmm. And man, I feel better. I can eat anything. Mm. I, you know, it's just, it's nice. Oh, and did you have uh, gallbladder attacks? Yes, I well, I had stones, I guess, but it was giving me a lot of stomach problems, and uh, my doctor um, did a scan, a CT scan, or an ultrasound, maybe it was an ultrasound, and I kept telling him where it hurt, and they ran a test, and I had a bunch of stones, so. Oh, man, that's awful. Yeah, man, that, I went to the doc, the surgeon. And he had me in there within a week getting it taken care of. Wow. Oh, yeah, it was just in and get in there, get it done, get out. I couldn't sleep for the first two nights. I just couldn't get comfortable, but I managed. And now I, I can eat anything. <laughs> I, was having, I was having a tax. Yeah, I would have the flare-ups. You can come say hi. Yeah, the flare-ups are horrible. I know what you mean, Lydia. The flare-ups are horrible. Hi. Center stage. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm a little gassy. <laughs> a little gassy? Yeah. That's good. Did you yeah. get out of here with that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the last time I take you to eat Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see, I live with a Mexican, so just think. He eats it all the time. I know I know what you mean. Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, There's some things that... No, you're going to have to do something about this. <laughs> right? I don't have spray out here. That's not fair. I got a candle. What are you looking for? Just light a match. <laughs> oh, God, no. It might blow up. <laughs> right? It's going to end real quick in here. <laughs> right, Lydia? <laughs> Are you getting a green fog in there? Wait a minute. I've got some incense. <laughs> she, she's looking for anything. Oh, that's why would you do that to me? That's so mean. Like, oh, <laughs> he said you told me to come here and say hi. That's what he said. He was like, you told me to come here and I got to go in there and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you know what a, the definition of a fart is, don't you? 
<laughs> yeah. It's a turd honking for the right of way. <laughs> it's a butt burp. A butt burp. A butt burp. <laughs> Liz. Uh, Lawyer. <laughs> oh, Lord. No. That's funny. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he goes, be right back. <laughs> yeah. Hey, go ahead. Take off. Go to the bathroom. Look at it. She's burning her incense. She's doing this. I don't like these either, but it smells better than what he just left. <laughs> now it smells like someone shit under an in incense bush. <laughs> <laughs> I need a fan or something. Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the things he does to me while I'm on live. Oh, God. I... My husband, he does the same stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they have no shame, dear. No shame. <laughs> no, they don't. Nope, they don't. <laughs> My other half does the same thing, so. Yeah. It happens. It's a natural thing. Yep. We all do it. Yeah. Do y'all want to listen to the, this um, true crime story? Yeah. 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 You want to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave the craft room. Shut my lights off. Go in the garage. Go get in your. So spot. I'll take you with me. <laughs> what? Go to your spot. Yeah, yep, got to go to my spot. All right, I'll see you in a few. I'm going to just put my camera on. Okay. All right. Let's see. Tell me if y'all can hear it. What is up, Ewu crew? Today yes. we are taking a look at cases with unexpected and surprising twists. Some of these cases are so unbelievable that you just may think they are from a movie script rather than real life. But each and every one of them is 100% true. Our first case is shocking and complicated with more twists than you will ever see coming. This is not your typical story of murder. It is more than just one tragedy, but many wrapped up together in an almost unbelievable way. <coughs> As a teenager, Sharon Marshall appeared to have the whole world open to her. She was reportedly a Lieutenant Colonel in the ROTC and one of the best and brightest students in her class. An undeniably intelligent young woman with a kind heart to match. Upon graduating from high school in 1986 from Forest Park, Georgia, Sharon had earned a full ride scholarship to the Georgia Institute of Technology with the plan to study aerospace engineering so that she could fulfill her dream of working at NASA. Despite this incredible opportunity, Sharon never went to college as she was harboring a secret. Sharon was pregnant during the final months of high school by her boyfriend, who she never told about the baby. Sharon hid her secret well, and she ended up giving birth and allowing a wealthy couple from Texas to adopt the baby boy. However, the pregnancy had shaken up her life plans, and at one point, she apparently even tried unsuccessfully to run away with her boyfriend. After losing her chance to attend college, Sharon ended up moving to Tampa, Florida for a new start with a man named Franklin Delano Floyd. Despite having moved with Frank, Sharon started to date another man, and she was soon pregnant for a second time. She once again never told the baby's father about the pregnancy. This time, however, she chose to keep the child and raise it with Frank. Sharon gave birth to her son, Michael Gregory Marshall, in 1988. Frank and Sharon had a complicated relationship. It wasn't quite clear if it was romantic or not, but the two lived together and both provided for Sharon's son, Michael. Frank worked as a painter, but he frequently suffered from a bad back, and so he was rarely able to actually work. Because of this, Sharon became an exotic dancer to provide for them, but they also began to rely on welfare checks to survive. Her co-workers thought of Sharon as kind and friendly, 
but she was especially close to an 18-year-old co-worker named Cheryl Camesso. Despite the women's friendship, Frank and Cheryl were known to have frequent disagreements, though there were reports that the two of them may have been involved in a brief relationship. On a weekend in 1989, Frank, Sharon, and Cheryl went on a booty together where a fight broke out between Cheryl and Frank. Following the argument, Cheryl allegedly reported Sharon to social services for misrepresenting her true income as an exotic dancer. Sharon had been hiding some of the money she made to still get checks from the government, but Cheryl's call meant that Sharon no longer qualified for welfare aid. Enraged by Cheryl's actions, Frank went to the club where Sharon and Cheryl both worked and confronted her just outside the business. Witnesses reported that Frank actually punched Cheryl in the face during the altercation. Shortly after, Cheryl left her father's house to travel to stay with a friend. But when she never called her dad to tell him that she had arrived safely, he reported her missing. Her abandoned Corvette was discovered at the airport, and an investigation ensued to find the missing woman. Both Frank and Sharon were seen as persons of interest, but for years, no evidence ever arose to connect them to Cheryl's disappearance. The two quickly packed up and left the area, which only increased suspicion, especially since they started using different names as they traveled. Frank and Sharon ended up getting married in 1989, and Frank claimed it was to give Sharon's son his family name to belong to, though the couple frequently went by different aliases. They ended up in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where Sharon was once again working as an exotic dancer. Sharon easily made friends everywhere the couple went, but no one seemed to like Frank, as he was aggressive and unpleasant. Reportedly, Frank once again got into a fight with another dancer Sharon worked with, and when the woman yelled that Sharon should leave him, he responded, If she ever left me, I'd kill the... Little did Frank know, Sharon was making plans to leave him for a man she had met at the club where she worked. Allegedly, Sharon would have left Frank earlier, but she was afraid of what he would do to her or her son, Michael. Before she was ever able to leave, though, Sharon was the victim of a sudden accident. She was found unconscious by a highway, and it appeared as though she had been the victim of a hit and run. Frank claimed that he was asleep at the time of the accident. Though rushed to the hospital, Sharon never regained consciousness. Her friends from the club would come to visit her where she recovered, and many claimed that she was getting better, but Frank soon banned them from seeing her without explanation. Five days after the incident, Sharon died from her injuries, but many were suspicious of Frank's strange actions, especially since Sharon seemed to be recovering before suddenly dying. The doctor was also suspicious, and based off of old bruises he noticed on her body, he classified her death as a homicide and even said that the head injury that killed Sharon may not have been caused by a vehicle. Though no one could prove that Frank had been the one to run over Sharon, or that he had possibly killed her while in the hospital, many came to that same conclusion, especially when her co-workers had been the ones to pay for her headstone, rather than Frank. Frank soon contacted life insurance companies to claim the $80,000 policy he had taken out on Sharon only a few months prior to her death. The problem was that Frank frequently used aliases, and so the social security numbers he provided never matched his name. After a few tries, he finally provided his real name, Frank Delano Floyd. It was then that all of Frank's lies began to unravel. It turned out that he had quite the criminal history. When Frank was 19 in 1962, he was convicted of abducting and assaulting a four-year-old girl, which resulted in him being sentenced to serve 10 to 20 years in prison. However, he escaped the mental hospital where he was first placed by stealing a vehicle. Frank's shocking story was only beginning, 
As the day after his escape, he robbed a bank and was subsequently captured again. In 1972, Frank was released, but almost immediately he tried to abduct a woman from a gas station and was once again arrested. This time, however, he paid his bail but skipped his court date. A federal warrant was issued for his arrest, but he quickly vanished and began using fake names while on the run. That is, until he finally had to give his real full name to the life insurance company. Frank attempted to flee from authorities, but he was soon captured in Georgia and placed in prison to finish his sentence. For the friends of Sharon, they felt that Frank's arrest was a way to serve justice to her untimely death. Uh. During this time, Frank had reportedly given Michael to social services before he went on the run, and Michael was soon put into the foster care system where he was placed with a loving family. However, everyone was shocked by the little boy's behavior as he appeared to be nonverbal and would only scream and moan to communicate. Frank insisted he was Michael's father, and so the child was frequently brought to visit him while incarcerated. When Michael showed hesitance to visit Frank, a DNA test was eventually performed. Even though Frank initially resisted, it was discovered that despite what Frank said, Michael was not his biological child, and so the visits were stopped. But this shocking story doesn't end here, and it was far from over. When Frank was finally released from prison in September of 1994, after serving four years, he started stalking Michael and his foster parents in Oklahoma. He knew he would never be given custody of the child, and so he devised a plan to take him. On September 12, 1994, Frank showed up at Michael's elementary school and demanded to see the principal, James Davis. When he wasn't allowed to take Michael, Frank pulled out a gun and threatened Davis. Michael was finally collected, all without alerting anyone at the school, and Frank forced the principal under gunpoint to take the two of them to an area a few miles from the school grounds. There, Frank tied Davis to a tree, leaving him unharmed, and fled with Michael and Davis's truck. When the abduction was finally known, a frantic search began but it would take two long months for anything to be discovered. Frank was found in Louisville, Kentucky and arrested, but there was no sign of Michael. Even after extensive searches, there was no trace of what had happened to the little boy, and Frank refused to tell anyone. Talking about Michael to the police, Frank stated, It's none of your business where he is, nor do I care how much any of you in Oklahoma miss him or love him. The first of many twists was revealed during Frank's trial for kidnapping Michael. In 1995, skeletal remains were found covered in vines in Pinellas County, Florida. The remains weren't immediately identified, but an investigation determined that the victim had died from a beating and two gunshot wounds to the head. Later that year, a mechanic in Kansas purchased a truck at an auction, and inside he found a large envelope filled with 97 photographs depicting a woman who had been beaten and bound. The truck had once been in the possession of Frank Floyd, who had stolen it while he was passing through the area in 1994, before eventually abandoning it. The photos were compared to the unidentified remains, and a wound to the photographed woman's cheekbone matched one on the recovered skull. The skeleton was soon named as belonging to Cheryl Camesso. Frank was convicted for kidnapping Michael, who still hadn't been found, but was classified as missing, and he was consequently sentenced to 52 years in prison. He then went on trial for the murder of Cheryl Camesso, where he was found guilty and sentenced to the death penalty. But the photos uncovered in the truck revealed something else even more shocking bringing to light another twist in this case. The pictures also showed Frank assaulting a young girl, but these images were much older than the ones of Cheryl. A search began to find the identity of the girl. This is where the case took an alarming turn. It wasn't until 2014 
that Aww. Sharon's true identity was officially uncovered. To find the truth about Sharon and the pictures, we have to go back. After being released from prison, and while he was on the run for attempted abduction, Frank got married in the mid-1970s to Sandy Chipman. At the time, he had used the alias Brandon Williams, and so Sandy hadn't known who he really was. The marriage was far from romantic, especially as it had begun with them tying the knot at a truck stop. Sandy had four kids at the time, and she herself didn't have the cleanest record. She left her kids in Frank's care when she had to spend 30 days in jail after being caught passing bad checks. When Sandy was finally released from prison, she found that her house was empty and her children gone. It appeared that Frank had taken them and moved. It took Sandy years to figure out where her children had ended up, but she eventually found two of her daughters, Allison and Amy, living with a social services group. Despite this, Sandy couldn't locate her oldest daughter, Suzanne, or her son, Philip. Her son was eventually found when, as a grown man, Philip came forward and had a DNA test to reveal that they were related. Frank had put him up for adoption, but what happened to Sandy's oldest daughter is even more shocking. Sharon Marshall's real name was Suzanne Marie Savarkas, and she was the daughter of Sandy Chipman. In a truly alarming twist, Frank had taken Sandy's children and split them up over different social services groups, but raised Suzanne as his own daughter. Frank and Suzanne moved frequently and across several different states. Frank told many different stories to those around him about how he had come to care for the young girl. But in most, he claimed to have rescued her when she was abandoned by her parents. At this time, he was calling her by the alias of Tanya Hughes. Yet by the time that the young girl graduated from high school, she was going by the name of Sharon Marshall. It turns out that Sharon was kidnapped as a child by Frank, her own stepfather, who raised her, frequently assaulted her, later married her when she was an adult, possibly killed her, and then kidnapped her child after she died. It was a twist that investigators found too unbelievable to be real, and yet it was true. Also revealed in 2014 was that after almost 20 years of lies, Frank finally admitted to what many had suspected by this time, that he had murdered Michael by shooting him while on the run. He had hidden his body along Interstate 35, but an intensive search didn't reveal anything. It was later concluded that Michael's body may have been eaten by wild hogs in the area. Frank Floyd was never found guilty of Sharon's murder, though popular consensus believes he is also guilty of this crime. To this day, he refuses to talk about Sharon's death. Frank is still awaiting his penalty for Cheryl's murder on death row. Our next case is no less shocking or tragic. On August... I'll, I'll pause it there. That, that was a twist I didn't expect. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, it was. Crazy. crazy. That was nuts. Yeah, it sure was. Hey, do it again. Um, I did. Oh, you did, Lydia. Okay. I seen it. Okay. Here she is. Yeah. Yeah, oh. it's up now. Okay. This is what I made, Katia. I made it out of a cutting board and a napkin and then put some wood flowers and a stick and made a stand out of Jenga blocks. <laughs> well put your put your screen big so she can see it better. Oh. It's that it, it is cute. There, now she'll be able to see it. It's it's really cute. <laughs> yeah. I think it's adorable. Uh huh. That yeah. is cute. <laughs> did you do the stand with Jenga blocks? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she's going to have to show me how she did that. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Yeah. That's really uh, cute. Kati and I worked together for a long time. and Yeah, that's what you yeah, said. She was pregnant, and um, she's from, I'm going to, she's from the Bahamas. Or is it the Bahamas? 
Where's Katia from? Do you remember? Barbados? Barbados? No. Bahamas? Bahamas. Yeah, Bahamas. Because I asked her. I was like, so if you're from the Bahamas, what are you? And Mr. Red told me, he was like, it's Bohemian. I was like, is that for real? <laughs> so I texted her at like one o'clock in the morning. I was like, um, are you Bohemian? What do you call yourself? <laughs> she was like, yeah. She's what used do you to call me, yourself? But... <laughs> she's used to my weird shenanigans but anyways she she moved here for school so she doesn't really have family here so um she asked me if i would be her uh birthing partner and so ah. she, she calls me Whoa. at like o'clock at night and she's in labor yeah and we get to the hospital and she's getting her epidural and i'm in there i'm talking her through it and stuff and the guy's talking, the, that's doing the epidural is, you know, conversating back with us. And he was like, so how do you, how do you two know each other? And I was like, she looks up and she's been over having a contraction hooting and hollering. And she's like, she's my boss. I <laughs> <laughs> was like, oh, oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> so after that, and then she has the baby and, you know, they take you from the delivery room into your your stay right. room. yeah um, and everybody's congratulating because i'm pushing the baby in the cart and she's getting pushed in the wheelchair and everybody's like congratulations i got dad bracelet on you know mm -hmm. <laughs> we got in the room i was like you do realize that they think that we are a, a couple right she goes <laughs> oh what she goes i didn't think about that i was like and we're interracial so we're really winning over here and she's she's got a heavy accent and here i am with my heavy southern accent i was like this baby is gonna have no idea how to say anything <laughs> right so for her first birthday i got her um the redneck alphabet book and so she she knows that c is for cornbread <laughs> <laughs> all right so that's just a little backstory so she really knows me in real not life and can, can how do you how do you say story. her name kata katia katia um, okay i don't think i say it right either it's uh katia katia katia, katia? katia. katia. somebody katia. said it once and was like that's not how you say her name and she's like actually it is <laughs> katia katia <laughs> Bless your heart. <laughs> I've told her, I said, she, she knows what I reckon means. Yeah. She you know, and uh, she's picked up quite, I've taught quite a bit of the Southern words. So, yeah, she, she's <laughs> going to bless your heart down. <laughs> she does. <laughs> All right. I was like, it's not really words, it's just sounds. Yeah. Yeah. Did I ever tell y'all the story, the truck story? No. When the truck broke down and I had to call the boss and I was, <laughs> well, I had to text the boss. I didn't tell y'all that. Uh-uh. I don't think so. Okay. I don't remember. This, this, will, this will prove to you of my southern veins. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, so Mr. Red and I were working, we worked together and we used to drive a truck to make um, deliveries. We delivered like um, carb to the car body shops and stuff like fenders and mufflers oh, and, okay. and all that. We, we drove a truck and we would make deliveries. Well, we would go all the way to Mississippi every day. Well, there was a hill and we're in these, this, uh, 16 foot box truck, box truck taking this part. And he decides he's just going to gun it out of the parking lot of this garage. That's going uphill blows the rear end out of the truck and we're coming we're rolling back down i was like um <laughs> it was oh, like, shit. i was like well i was like i gotta call the boss and tell him you know what's wrong well he's mechanic so he was like it's the rear end and i was like okay so i'm texting and i start i was like how you spell rear end <laughs> he said <laughs> i said how you spell rear end he was like rear end and I was like, huh? I was like, how do you spell it? He was like, rear in. I was like, okay, how do you 
felt it. He was like, if you don't listen to me, it's rear <laughs> and in. I was like, for real? <laughs> I, I've always heard it called rear end. It's just a, it's just kind of a sound. A rear end. A rear end. <laughs> Oh yeah. Lord. That's funny. <laughs> <That's better. funny. laughs> yeah. Only big to go to go through that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what is that? That's good. Oh, I like that. See, I yeah. forgot I had my hair sticking out and it was up on my head. <laughs> Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, you're raised in bed listening to Huh? What what did y'all think about that story? But go ahead. Oh, that what was crazy, about? man. It was crazy, yeah. Yeah. It was and that guy's still waiting to I mean, he married his stepdaughter and stole her kid after he killed her and wow, that's crazy. Nuts. That yeah, was I, I didn't think that. <laughs> yeah, and he's in on death row, still waiting for his sentence. Yeah, how, I wonder how long. I didn't hear a date. I didn't know when that I ended. Don't even know how old? How old it is? Let me see when this was posted. And that would uh, at My least. My first son was born in Freeport. I grew up there when it. Then I moved to Florida in the 70s, but still have friends there. Oh, so Mama Bear, uh, she, was, lived, she, she was, lived at the Bahamas, too. I'll be darned. Are you yeah. Bahamian, Florida Mama Bear? <laughs> well, she said she had her first son there mm. in, in Freeport. And then uh, she said, I grew up there. Then I moved to Florida in the 70s. Oh. That dud is a freak. Yeah, he yeah. is. Mm -hmm. She means that dude, but. Well, he could be a dud, too. He could be a dud, too. <laughs> I knew who she was talking about. <laughs> right. I was, when the first part of it, I was thinking, oh, yeah, this is typical. This typical, you know. Right, domestic violence situation. You know he's going to end up killing her and yada yada yada. But being hit, he stole her, uh -huh. his stepchild, married her, and took her freaking kid. And yeah. Killed her. Well, That's first nice. he killed that first lady that was the yeah. friend. Mm hmm. And yeah, that's it's crazy the whole thing. Yep, it is. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff you see on that. And that might that's a that's a crap Dorothy likes to watch, man. She'll watch that stuff all day and all night. Her yeah, and my mom share the link with her because that that's all the that page is about is the twisted stories. Oh, that link was mm -hmm. I seen you posted. Yeah, I think I put it in the description of this video, so she uh, can the restream story. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's wild. Yeah, let me see here. Oh, Explore With Us is the name of it. Mm -hmm. Is the name of the site. Yeah, that it they have some uh some crazy videos. Yeah. Um, Crime Vault or something like that, I think, is the playlist that has all those. Uh huh. Oh, wow. I just shared it again. Yeah. Have you ever watched that? Uh, that, uh, oh God, what is her name? Bailey Saran. Oh, the one that does the makeup? Yes, the makeup yeah. and mystery. Oh my gosh. I love her. I absolutely love her. She I'm just sorry. went. I mean, and her makeup. I mean, she, she's a, she was a model, and mm -hmm. uh, she did her own makeup. And I mean, it. Each story, she does her makeup differently, mm -hmm. and does her hair and all that. By the end of the story, she's all made up, looking beautiful, all that. 
and she tells different stories. Yeah. Yeah, she's cool. <laughs> oh, she moved to the uh, Florida Mama Bear moved to the Bahamas in 1959 and was seven. So all grew up on island life, left there after I finished high school. But my family stayed in the Bahamas. Oh, oh wow. That's cool. I'm jealous. Yeah, I've never been to, I've been to Hawaii. I've never been to the Bahamas. I've got something in my never mind. been to the Nope, never been to the Bahamas. Well I maybe yeah. I have. Surely you have on a cruise. I probably have. Yeah. Where'd you go this last time? I have no idea. It was too cold to remember. <laughs> yeah, she was cold. Remember? She was in the casino and she was even I cold was in not, the casino. I was not a, that was that was not a trip to, she to said remember. She took all summer clothes, remember? Yep. Well, I searched months. Well, not months, but weeks for summer clothes in the middle of winter. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's all she packed. And then I didn't even wear them because it was too damn cold. <laughs> Yeah, she just brought my something? regular clothes. Did you buy a hoodie or, or a sweatshirt or something? Yeah, I bought a oh yeah, I bought a hoodie because I I all I had was my winter jacket. I didn't bring any other jackets. Mm -hmm. And the only reason I had my winter jacket with me is to get to the airport and back home. Yeah, because it was cold. <laughs> God. It was even cold in California. And I don't want to hear it. I do not want to hear it. It was freezing. Yeah. It was. It was cold here. It was, uh, I think it'll be warm in California. Nope, nope, nope. It was cold as hell. It was. Shoot, we're at 46 right now, and it's raining. Oh, oh, wow. We're getting more damn rain. I'm so sick of the rain. Yeah, yeah you're never, in the desert. You're not supposed to get rain. We never get this much rain. Never. Mm. We've had more rain this year than we've had in the past at least 15 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Just in this year, we've in the past 15 years. I mean, they would say it's going to rain, and then the cloud would come around, and then it would open up, go around us. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy. It is crazy weather. And 46 right now. Dang, we're warmer than you. Yeah, it's it's and it's, it's usually not this right. bad. You're yeah. warmer. Yeah, it's uh 56 here now. It's and 52. It says, I don't know what the temp is here. It's getting a little cooler. What was but it got up to 90 today? I was like, holy crap, it's cold. I mean, it's hot out. Yeah, it says that? uh Suggestions for the weekend. Umbrella need. Uh, clothing heavy. Uh, wind chill caution. So, because we're going to have wind all day tomorrow again. And we've had wind all day today. Well, the wind wasn't that bad this morning. It was like a breeze. And by noon, it was blowing like crazy. But Ray still got four coolers done. So that was a good thing. Whenever you, when, when I hear the windshield, I used to think they said windshield, windshield. <laughs> and so when, I would go, "What the do they do? Put the put the thermometer up to the windshield, and that's what it's supposed to be." The, the windshield <laughs> factor. <laughs> I'm like, well, who cares about the windshield? <laughs> The windshield factor. Back is the windshield, not windshield. It's windshield. I was like, oh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we all have those moments, don't we? Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's like chest of drawers. Oh, yeah. I always thought they were Chester's drawers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, fifty. <laughs> oh my God, I thought that. What did she say? I thought that too. <laughs> I need forty-five subscribers to get to 
500. Oh. oh. I only need four subscribers to get three or four to get to uh, 600. Really? Wow. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, we start sharing you out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, you know, and that's, I, I should do the thing every time I, someone says, <laughs> you know, put the, share, write this to do your link. Cause I always forget. Yeah. You know, I remember them saying it and then I, you know, get to talking and stuff and then I forget. Yeah. Oh, Florida Mama Bear said, you're too funny, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly and, then, and her stories. <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, Katia said, oh, my God, I thought that, too. <laughs> <laughs> right. And that didn't surprise me either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to Lydia today. Yep. I was doing laundry, and I said, oh, I hate doing laundry. Because <laughs> I have to have a step stool to get into my dry my washer. <laughs> I, you know, I have to. I about fall in it. Really? I got, I got a big old tub that you have to reach down in, uh -huh. and I'm okay until I do socks. <laughs> and the socks are bit. So I got a little step. So see, me too. So that I, I don't feel so it. bad. Yeah, but and I'm you but I'm five five. five. <laughs> I bet my step's bigger than yours. <laughs> Probably. Show us. Show us your stools. Show us the stools, yeah. We'll compare stools later. <laughs> hey, but so I'm going to have to put that stool in my truck so that when I go get Dorothy, she can get in the truck. Right. <laughs> Until I get running board things. How tall are you, Lydia? Snow Crusher. I'm five, Hello. five four. You're short too. Yeah. No, you're just an Amazon. <laughs> yeah, compared to Kelly. <laughs> my uh, before me, my husband dated a, a woman that was, I and mean, he's only five five. So I mean, he's tiny too. Uh huh. And the woman he was dating was like six two. And it's like her name was her name was Lydia as well. Oh wow! And uh, yeah, Hopefully. we always called her the Amazon girlfriend, and she was so much taller than he was. <laughs> I used to think you had to say yellow when answering the phone. I realized it was hello. <laughs> Yellow's right. Well, yellow. yellow. We yellow. used to say We're yellow all the time. <laughs> It was yellow. the right way. You were you weren't wrong. Yeah. You were yellow, yellow. You here, you were born to be right here in Alabama. <laughs> yeah, yellow. How are you, Miss Bud? Five ten. Wow. <laughs> yeah, like you could stack two of Kelly, and she would be the same height as my son. <laughs> I mean, she's he's six eight, and she's. Not she's four nine or five four ten. Sorry, I'll give you the inch. I'd be afraid to stand up again up next to the Shaq, Shaq, the basketball player, Shaq. Yeah, O'Neal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I'd probably come up to his knee. <laughs> knee high to a grasshopper, huh? Right. That's funny answering the That's phone. That's funny. Yeah. You need to get a cardboard cut out and, and send it to you and you can stand up next to him and we can yep. see. <laughs> Island right. Tree for three. Tree for three. To, when they say when they answer the what phone. Does mean? What does that mean, Florida Mama Bear? Yes. And Earl for oil. Earl, yep. Earl. <laughs> I need some Earl for my car. Earl. Oh, and tree instead of three. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Hey, that's the way my neighbor talks. I, I always ask him what time it is, like when it's, uh, I don't know, 2.30, 3.30, whatever. He'll say 2.30, 3.30, 
and I just <laughs> laugh every time he says it, and then he rolls his eyes like, yeah, you just wanted to hear me say that. He, he's from uh, Poland, though. He's Poland? from where? Poland. He's a Polak. His last name is Ski, something Ski, Polanski, uh -huh. Polanski, something. Yeah. It's just how she bad island people talk. How Everybody they has their own. Reverse. She's like, is it back back? They say back back when you need to reverse. I think that's what it was. Hey, hey Billy. <laughs> hey, Billy. I think my that's favorite that I hear all the time is the buggy. Hi, Billy. <laughs> I got to grab a buggy. Yeah. <laughs> We call them carts. Y'all call them buggies. Buggies, yeah. Buggy. <laughs> Go get me a buggy. And whenever I say it, because I'm like, oh, I think that's a cute little word. I'm going to start calling them a buggy now. Everybody looks at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> oh, Billy works with wood. Yes. He's, uh, he's from Robin. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. That's, oh, that's where I've seen him. Okay. Yeah. All right. Back, back. Yeah. When they go in reverse, it's back, back. <laughs> I was like, so you just be like, back, back. We call it a trolley. A trolley. Uh -huh. I've heard somebody else say that years ago. They yeah. They call them trolleys. What do you call them, Lydia? Doesn't I don't know. I don't even say anything. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call them? Trolley. Trolley. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you do know it uh as buggy, right? You you know that people say buggy for that? Uh uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's I buggy. Know. I know. What the hell is a buggy? <laughs> yeah, no. A buggy is a cart. Well, what's a cart? I guess it's a trolley. Yeah. <laughs> well, nice to meet you, Billy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he said, yes, I'm a woodworker and wood turner. Yeah. He does some cool stuff. He makes earrings, too. Really? Oh, yeah. Yep. When our neighbor moved and my old man could not understand him, he was from Jamaica. I used to laugh and translate what the neighbor was saying. Uh, right. Billy is a wood tick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys can drop your links if you push uh, hashtag get baked. Yeah, hashtag get baked. I'll do it again. Yeah. And I think uh, Elaine and Kelly both need just a couple. How many do you need till you reach 500? 45 subs. 45. So give her some subs, you guys, if you're not already. And yeah. she's a hoot. She goes Great. live with her sister, and her sister likes to sling shit. <laughs> yeah. We're shit slingers. We night. Night. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. Her and. She just has it's a good, a good old time, time in that. It's a good time in that chat. It yeah. definitely is a good time in that chat. Well, as long as we keep everybody laughing, it's always it's it's like a feel good chat. You know, you laugh and carry yeah. on, have a good time, just be yourself. Yep. And, and of it's course, fun. Go to Kelly, so you know that's a good time. Yeah. Yep. And Lydia will bounce back soon. She'll yep. be back. Oh yeah. Lives. Yeah. Yes, she will. I'm thinking about second week of May. Maybe. Oh, you're not going to. Oh, that's right. I did see your post mm -hmm. that you were going to wait a little longer. When when did your boyfriend get back? Is he back? He's now? already back. Oh, that's why she stopped. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to have some fun now. No, we went to New York City, New York, uh, oh. about two weeks. Oh, wow. have fun! Wow, you'll yeah. have fun there, sweetheart. Yeah, that's fun. 
I've never been to New York. I, I won't ever there. go to New York. I like New York, but prepare to spend some money. Yeah. It's not cheap. It definitely I, was not cheap. We I ate a lot of the street vendors. Eat at the street vendors. I do cheaper. that in my garage. <laughs> what? I, I said I do that in my garage. <laughs> spend money. <laughs> well, we were there for nine days, though. Just and remember when you go to Elaine's chat to have your Dupens boots and toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, right. I Don't forget the goggles. The Florida Mama Bear always makes sure everybody knows to have their Dupens close by. <laughs> what do you all make? Oh, I make all different kinds of stuff. Kelly makes all different kinds of stuff. So does Baked. Mm -hmm. uh, and Lydia crochets. Yeah. So are your blanket. I crochet and I also do knitting needles. Give yeah. me one of every person the table back. Knitting and crocheting, yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay, she's, she's making this it back. huge blanket. It's amazing. It's pretty, isn't it? The mm -hmm. color. Oh God, that blanket is nice. I can't believe it. Yeah, we. Um, I did some floral. We did florals. I uh, just like uh, Big did today. We put that napkin on that piece of wood. I did these the other day. These are part of our challenge that I'm going to do. Those are napkins that I painted. These old milk milk jars they're glass jars and i put the napkin on it and um then i have a wood thing that i had painted for them to go in uh here's my blanket oh look there at, it is look at how big it is <laughs> yes i know it's look huge go. <laughs> there she is <laughs> yeah, it's huge, but it's so pretty. It's got so much color in it. Yeah, it does have a lot of color. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. She did a great doing a great job because she's yeah. not done. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it it looks really good. Katia says very cute. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Elaine makes all kind of cute stuff, and Kelly makes all kind of cute stuff, and and so do you. Lydia. I'm more of a farmhouse grunge. Bigger than her. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, farmhouse grunge. I, I like a lot of farmhouse grunge. I On the last um, challenge last month, I did that farmhouse one with the, <laughs> the rocks for the hay. Mm -hmm. and, and oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love that, though. With the cow. It's on my counter. Ray I love liked that. it. Yeah, really. I have like no it. idea what I'm gonna do. As I'm racking my brains trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. I I don't either. I mean, I I I kind of have an idea because I painted those, and I painted the wood thing that I'm gonna use, and then um, I just I got my the bag is tri what's tripping me up. Well, I got the yeah the bags. I got the plastic already. I'm just. I'm just hoping it's going to let me do some macrame with it. I got mm -hmm. it all ready to put together, and then I want to macrame a handle flat, and then at the top part, I want it to twist. Mm -hmm. or I'll make it twist, and then the rest of it will be flat. So the twist part will be where you hold it. That's cute. And I want to yeah. put it on these two little sticks for the handles. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm going to put the macrame on the sticks That's to make cute. the handle. So uh, we'll just see. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, I have no clue. I don't even know. I, I don't even have a jar ready. <laughs> I need to bring some stuff down and just start looking at it and see what I can do with it. Yeah. I have to yeah. stare at it. Yeah, because I've been messing with stuff for that it was nice hanging with you lovely ladies i got well, home to go back and see us again wow. yeah yeah don't be a stranger 
Come back and visit. We like to laugh and have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> She's fun. <laughs> she says, I cry. <laughs> Don't cry. Have Get a good silver. night, and It was really nice meeting you. It was nice to meet you, too. Good night. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Ray, he went and crashed. Him and the dogs. The dogs are in their bed. Ray's in bed. And he's got Santana on the TV playing <laughs> music. But he's sound asleep. All three of them are. No, my <laughs> cats are waiting by the treat, ba the treat box. Oh, are they? Oh. Yeah, no, both of mine. Otherwise, they would be in here with me and say Ray's home, so they stay with him. Brazi is such a daddy's girl. She cries when he leaves. Ooh, <laughs> I said he had to go to work. And then she finally, you know, kind of mellows out. Mm -hmm. Well, I have a, I fed the cats. They're dry. When I went up, went up and got some water. <clears throat> They were all sitting there by the dry bowl. I went ahead and gave them some dry. Now they're waiting for me to make coffee so they can get a treat. Oh, how cute. That's yeah. funny. Katia says, do y'all babysit? <laughs> <laughs> she she told you to come and get her kid. Uh, get the kid. Get your kid. She said, come get your kid. <laughs> to get mobile, I'm done. <laughs> Like she moves. Look, I she the first time she fell off the bed, it was my fault because I put her down and I told her I said that's why I don't do mobile kids anymore. <laughs> she rolled right off the bed. I was like, great, thank you. <laughs> oh Lord. But yeah, I, here it's a it's a good thing. And Sonal Wise Tale, when they fall off the bed before they're age one, it means they're gonna live a long life. Oh. So, I tried to explain to her. I was like, it's really a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I just helped your kid out. <laughs> She's going to live a long well, time. Like yeah. My daughter fell off the bed. My granddaughter fell off the bed. So that's a good thing. <laughs> yep. Both of my kids, I did. Yeah. Um, my ex-husband um, <laughs> had my son in the bed. And I guess he was probably eight months six months eight, between six and eight months somewhere on there and um, I had left and they were both asleep in the bed but my son had rolled off of the bed and rolled under the bed and was screaming and I came home and his dad's asleep <laughs> I was so mad <laughs> yeah. yeah I um I don't remember any of them ever falling off the bed, but that doesn't mean they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you obviously fell off the bed. <laughs> I forgot. There you go. There you go. I forget those kind of things. Like that's funny. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I've got cheese dip or something in my hair. It's stiff. Look at this. It sticks straight out. <laughs> And crunchy. <laughs> and crunchy. Uh, ew. See it? Yeah. <laughs> he goes. <laughs> <laughs> if I get food stuck in my hair, something's wrong. <laughs> no kidding. That yeah, even I'm up for my own in it. <laughs> Wait. All, all of my hair, like, right around the front here, it's kind of like different sizes. It depends on which way the wind blows when I'm smoking a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I, all the, every once in a while, I'll smell, I'll smell something burning, and I'm going, what's that? And it's my hair. I sense <laughs> my hair. <laughs> so, and I just got four inches cut off of it. I noticed that. Yeah. I noticed you got your hair cut. I went with Ray to get his hair cut, and the girl that cut his hair, I just had her, I said, let's just trim it, you know, get all these dry ends off. She said, okay. 
So she cut off, she started at two inches and she cut that. And then um, she, I looked at it and I kept going like this. And I said, yeah, I think we ought to take just a little more off. She said, okay. So she started styling it and she took off four inches. And I said, hey, that'll work. I can still put it up out of my face. Yeah. As long as I can get up, up out of my face, I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, I keep mine up. It goes over my fingers. It's too long. Yeah. <laughs> well, if it's touching Ray's ears in the back, it's too long. Every, like about every two weeks, this guy has to go get his hair cut. That's mm -hmm. Scott, too. I mean, his hair grows so fast. Ray's too. I used to have long hair, but now I have short hair. It's easy I had real hair. long hair. I've always had short hair. Uh, when I was a kid, I always had long hair, but... Uh, when I had kids of my own, I started getting it shorter and shorter. And I used to always wear like that um, Lori Morgan haircut. Yeah. You know, where it's cut up around the ears, mm -hmm. but you're so wispy and long in the back and bangs and stuff. Mm -hmm. the, I almost went and got that haircut again. But then I thought, no, because then I have to fix it. I can't just throw it up in a ponytail and say, okay, let's go, you know? Right. Well, this is just hair gel. Hair <laughs> gel and hairspray. Yeah, see, I can't use hairspray on my hair. It just starts breaking it because it's so fine. Well. Wow. There ain't no hair to break. <laughs> I told... <laughs> I told her that I wanted it really, really short. I mean, short, short. I mean, I want it shaved short. Okay. Oh. Well, she did it. We didn't do it ever again because I got too many bald spots. Uh. Oh. So, yeah. So it showed every bald spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now we just keep it to, you know, if Got it goes over the finger, yeah, over. finger length. Yeah. Yeah. So, because I would go, I mean, I would go that I short. I don't think I have any bald spots yet. I have a lot of hair, a lot of it. I do too, but I never knew I had bald spots. I've never been bald before. Yeah. You know, she well, shaved, I, she used the razor shape. Uh, one of them buzz cuts. A buzz cut, yeah. That's the way I used yeah. to put razor hair. Yeah, I had a lot of bald spots. <laughs> Mm. Oh, so gosh. you just let it grow out and you just do fingertip now. Yeah, it'll always grow back, right? <laughs> it did, didn't take long. Yeah. It didn't take long to grow out at all. And when I and that's another thing, when I when my hair's short, it seems like it grows faster. And then yeah. it's already past that style and it's like in between and what it, you know. Well when I got pregnant with my daughter, I had real short hair and it was dyed blonde. I was blonde for a, quite a while. Mm -hmm. And then whenever I got pregnant, I couldn't cut, you know, colored anymore. Well, now it's growing out and it's looking funky. Yeah. So I, every week I'd go and get it trimmed. By the time my daughter was born, maybe a month afterwards, my hair was down in my butt. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. of the trimming. Yep. Yeah. And it didn't help that I was taking um, prenatal vitamins, too. You know? Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> that true. Helped yeah. Grow. <laughs> yeah, my nails grow like crazy. And yeah. And when I take those prenatal vitamins, they really used to get long. Mm -hmm. Right. So I, I'm going to pinch his baby while I change his pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my hair grew a lot. I, I cut mine off the first time when I had my son. I cut it off and I had um, kind of like a pixie. Yeah. Um, but I didn't like it because, again, like Elaine said, you got to get up and fix it. Yeah. yeah. So I grew it out and that took a while because, you know, that short and that style, it takes a while for it to grow out into something. Yeah, mm -hmm. because you get that. In between, where you can't. Yeah, do I it. can't do the in between. You can't put I'm it not back. Yeah. yeah. So, but I don't think I've I've been that short since then. Yeah. I've cut it up to like my shoulders. Um, 
a couple of years ago. And I uh, get it trimmed pretty often now, but it's it's getting long. It's pretty long. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I noticed you I noticed today that you had your hair cut. I mean that your hair was shorter. Yeah. You have it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I had it cut and I said no more color. So it's all my natural color. It's a dark blonde. And I have a lot of gray hair. And some sparklies, you know. <laughs> I like gray I, hair. Don't, I went in. Oh, gosh, it's been years. I went in and told the hairdresser, I said, uh, I want this color. And it was a real pretty gray. I mean, it was gorgeous gray. Oh, I dyed my hair gray once. And she looked at me and she goes, well, don't dye it for a while. I mean, your hair is short. It won't take long. And three cuts, my hair was gray. Oh, wow. And it was the color that I had shown her. Wow. <laughs> So I was like, yeah. okay, that's cool. I dyed got a little bit more gray. pepper in it than you know. It has a lot of pepper in it, but it's a lot of gray. If I don't style it and don't put any product in my hair, it's all gray. Yeah. But then whenever I put product in it, it it puts a black tint into it. Uh huh. Not that I. I mean, it's all clear, <laughs> but right. it just darkens it up, so it looks right. salt and pepper. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know um, if I'm going to have the ugly gray <laughs> or pretty gray. I don't know. I've my, only got a few. Well, not a few. Every morning I get up and brush my hair. I see more gray. Well, so, my uh, Scott's aunt, her hair came in white. Hmm. I mean, white, white. I mean, snow. Oh, that's the way my it is absolutely is. gorgeous snow white hair. And his mom had the white kind of yellow tinted to it, mm -hmm. like she had dyed it blonde. And it was her natural color. It was, it was gray. Yeah. <laughs> that was her gray. She never colored it. That was her gray. Yeah. So. Wow. Hmm. Well, if it ever does turn ugly. <laughs> gray elaine you use purple shampoo yeah i used that when I'm, my hair was real blonde mm -hmm. we we used to use that one after we i was on the swim team and my hair would turn oh, green man. from the chlorine <laughs> <laughs> so we used to use a purple shampoo to get the green out you know mm -hmm. my yeah. hair all summer long my hair was always green from being in the pool <laughs> always green I uh, you know and even when I got older, you know, because it, it stayed blonde, and now it just gets darker and darker as I get older. And this is the darkest it's ever been. And um, but now I see the grays coming in, so I, I'm getting excited. I just said, "Oh, I'll just let it grow. We'll see what happens." I mean, yeah. heck, I'm a I'm a grandma, a great grandma, and oh, wow, <laughs> right? Yeah, and they multiply, you know. <laughs> I have eight grandkids and twelve great grandkids, so yeah, mm -hmm. they're multiplying, all right. That's a lot of great grands. Yeah, well, I got my son has one kid, and his son has a has a little girl. And then my other son has three children, but they're all grandkids. They're not old enough to have kids. Mm -hmm. And then we have one, two, three grandsons. Two of them have two kids, and one of them has three. Oh, wow. And then our granddaughter has two. And then um, who else? I think that's it. Oh wow! So, so we, but we have twelve mm. uh, great grands. So, so they call me Gigi. Gigi. <laughs> Gigi, yeah. And Gigi. Great grandma. Mhm. Mm my daughter called her grandma Papa. Yeah. <laughs> my my husband's mom Papa. 
because she didn't have a papa. And my niece, who um, they're just five weeks apart, she had a papa. Oh, wow. And so she just call, started calling, and she's not real, she really never really saw my mom. Mm -hmm. So she never really said grandma. Yeah. And so she thought that, you know, it was papa. Uh -huh. So she started calling Scott's mom papa. <laughs> and yeah, that's what it was. My son, my son, uh, his baby, or his son, which isn't a baby anymore, he's got a daughter, but his son used to call my, my grandma, his great, great grandma, he used to call her, um, G Gram. And then he called my mom, grandma. And then he called me, which was his great grandma. And then he called me uh, regular grandma. <laughs> and then he called his mom's mother, the grandma, uh, Nana. And, um, but I was regular grandma. Does anybody follow Amber Strong? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. You, you all... Follow Amber Strong. She is a crafter on Facebook, and then she moved over to YouTube. Well, she has a granddaughter, and her granddaughter calls her Lolly, mm -hmm. and her husband Pop. Yeah, Lolly Pop. Yeah, Lolly Pop. There you go, <laughs> Lolly Pop. Wow, I thought that was really cute. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have our, our grandparent names picked out. We're going to be Grumpy and Naggy. <laughs> Grumpy and Natty? Naggy. Naggy? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's funny. Because that that's good. what I told Mr. Ed. I was like, you're, you're going to be Grumpy. And he was like, well, if I'm Grumpy, you're going to be Naggy. And I was like, hey, that's good. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Lord. gonna be our name. That's funny. So my mom is Nana. His mom was Nana. Well, they got kind of differentiate sometimes. And his grandmother is Nanny. My grandmother is Granny. So we've got Nana, Nanny, Granny. <laughs> yeah. Paw Paw and Pop Pop. So. <clears throat> that's cool. I have Everything one that uh, one of my grandkids, the youngest grandson, he's nine, and he calls me Grandma Lane. Oh. Grandma Lane, Grandma Lane, hi Grandma Lane, <laughs> and he's always he's he's such a lover. He's always <laughs> hugging. You walk by him, you say hi Grandma Lane, go one way, and then if you walk back by him, he'll say it again, hi Grandma Lane. You know, he just—he's just a love. He's a, oh god, he's so fun. Well, you know, my sister and power Missy. Uh -huh. They call her grandkids call her Super M. Superman. Super M. Super M. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you said yep. Superman. I was gonna say there's no, a new one. Super M is what they call her. <coughs> and how they got that name was is they. Well, it, two of them are they're her step grandchildren. Okay, uh -huh. it's the only grandchildren she has. Well, she has a granddaughter, real granddaughter, but yeah, um, who married a woman that had two children. Well, that's the way. And they said, "Well, what are we going to call you? Because we already have a grandma." And she goes, "Well, you can just call me M." And one of the little boys says, "No, you're Super M." Uh -huh. And that's how it came to be, Super yeah. M. Super M. Oh wow. Cute. So. <laughs> That's funny. Cute, 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 cute. God, what time is it where you guys are at? Let's see. 11, 12, one, right? one in the morning. morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one in the morning. I don't and know. I'm fading fast. Me <laughs> too. I don't know how you I guys know you are fading because you've been up early. It's yeah. only 11 here. What time Ooh, did you get up baked? Um... 
seven thirty. Oh wow! Oh, I, I've been up. I was way up, up way before you. <laughs> I woke up about. Thing. I woke up about ten thirty. Oh God! You really slept in. I wish I could <laughs> sleep in, but man. When that sun comes up, if I'm not up, I'm up when the sun comes up. But. It's 2 a.m. where you're at. Yes, it is. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, I got up at 6.30. 6.30. Uh, yeah, I got up at... Go back to sleep. If I sleep in, I feel like I've missed my whole morning. Yeah, I sleep till... Or I get up around 5.30. I took a nap this afternoon, though. So. Oh, I tried to, but, I, you know, my dog, she just, uh, -uh. the, the little the dog, she, she sleeps with me, you know, if I take a nap and the other one gets in her dog, you know, in her bed, it's not a dog bed, it's a kid bed, but it's a floor bed. And, um, give me a minute, guys. Okay. All right, hon. And I thought I had a picture of their bed. Because I hung that there, those things I made for them with their names on it. What time anyway. My cat is so big. My cat is so big that the little changing table that went it. I mean, the changing table has little changing pads. Yeah, my cat has that, and he. Oh, wow. I mean, he barely fits in it. No, these my dogs have a full size bed. I don't have room for a full size. Well, if they went upstairs, they'd have their own bed. Yeah. They're, but they don't they sleep upstairs. They're like sleeping downstairs with us. And the full size bed is in my bedroom in the corner. And we have a California king. He but, has a big bedroom. <laughs> yeah. Well, we took a big giant bathtub out of our bedroom. You know, it was one of those um, like spa big tubs. Bug, yeah. Full corner. So we took that out because. I didn't like stepping over the damn thing to get in it and stepping over it to get out. But anyway, the, um, uh, we got rid of that and then we put the dog's bed right there. It's a floor bed. It has a picket fence around it and it's uh -huh. got the house looking thing, you know, and oh gosh, I love it. I love your, I love your bed, dog's bed. Yeah, they love it. They do. Yeah, I go in and take a shower, and I come out, and they're both laying in their bed looking at me, you know. <laughs> but yeah, they're both in bed now, and raised in our bed. <laughs> yeah. But when I take a nap during the day, Brazi gets in her bed, and then Berna she'll bark at me until I put her in bed with me. My little one. Oh, my dog. <laughs> Yeah, your dog, the one you like, yeah. You should see that outfit I have on there. They're tutus. Oh, my yeah, God. You got a little black and white striped top, <laughs> and it's got a little teddy bear on the back, and then it's oh, a tutu. Okay. And when she runs, that whole tutu goes like this. Oh. It's funny. I got to videotape that. That is so funny. Cute. I saw uh, Mr. Red did it did a video or did a uh, live today showing the progress of their uh, greenhouse. Oh, yeah. And he said that he thought the cats were digging in their flower, I mean, in their plant beds. <laughs> no, it was the dog. <laughs> the dog. He goes out there and digs in the greenhouse. Oh, no. He's been complaining saying the cats are doing it. We have about 12 barn cats that just run the park. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. wow. And so um, we always thought it was the cats. And he's like, no, I caught him. He was out there. He was digging in it, <laughs> which he does. He's he. I just had to replace our couch in the living room because um, he digs at everything. And he tore a hole in my couch. Oh, God. <clears throat> I was like, oh, I should have figured that was who it was. <laughs> <laughs> but there are he every time he's out working he puts the dogs out there with him because that section of the yard is fenced in and so every time he makes a video the dogs are in it <laughs> <laughs> the dogs are wandering around yeah they're just like oh, and then we're starting to let the chickens free range or we're trying to teach them to free range 
Oh, just run around the yard. And, so yeah. they're out now, which the dogs don't bother. They actually kind of keep them in a in the area. Yeah, so, um, that's pretty cool. It, it, yeah, it some really cool uh, things happening. Upgrades. The greenhouse is going good. We had it so nice and all set up, but we had two last year, and the tree fell on it when we had a storm. Oh. oh. Wow. So it was, it's been quite a mess and we, we've just been getting, uh, the yard cleaned up and everything moved and he was able to savage, uh, salvage one of the greenhouses. So that's the one he's rebuilding. Oh, okay. So we've got, I'd, lo I'd love to have a greenhouse. It's not, it's, it's nice. I've enjoyed it quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, this year I'm going to do some canning. So we've got the greenhouse plus we're going to do two 12 by 12 sections um, outside of there for tomatoes. Um, mm -hmm. One of the 12 by 12 is going to be corn. Um, we tried to do corn in the past, but we didn't do enough research. So we didn't know that it needed to be um, such a large section. So we had done like three or four rows and it wasn't enough. They were just getting blown over. So mm -hmm. the last, uh, I think he checked, I think it's a 12 by 12 area of corn so we're going to do one section is going to be corn and the other will be our bigger vegetables like the tomatoes and cucumbers things that spread out yeah mm -hmm. zucchini and all that yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so yeah. i'm going to be doing some canning some things i already know how to can and other things i'm not too sure about so well you can find them on youtube babe oh yeah yeah i've been watching everything you can find on youtube you know everything yep. on YouTube. <laughs> Sure is. And if, if it isn't, somebody knows something about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that the truth? That but that that's what's been keeping us busy. I finished the kitchen and he was like, okay, next project. I was like, what's the next project? He was like, greenhouse. I was like, let's go. <laughs> all right, all right, yeah. You gotta be another Shay making all of her stuff. Yeah. <laughs> She made so that chocolate syrup. I want to try that. That's yeah. good stuff. I just finished what I made. So it, the recipe she has, it it lasts um, a good while. Oh wow! Um, good. Well, that's good. It's really good. It's better than the Hershey syrup you buy in the store. Uh huh. It's real good. I, I'm definitely gonna make that again. I know. I told my husband, I said, I'm going to make some fudge, but maybe I'll make it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I love fudge. I want to yeah. make vanilla. I like fudge with um, nuts, with walnuts. Yeah. You know, either does my sister. What did you say, Kelly? White? I want to make vanilla. Oh, vanilla. Yes. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to do that. I want to make the vanilla. I want to make some divinity this Ooh. this Christmas. Uh -huh. I've always wanted to make it. My grandma made the best divinity. I just wish I would have paid attention and learned how to do it when she was doing it. But I hear it's easy. Missy makes the best. Uh, I can never pronounce it. Divinity? Yeah. Divinity. Yeah, okay. yeah she makes the best. Oh, I yeah. love her. Yeah. Good I like tell her, make a double batch, one for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <coughs> yeah, I've never made that. I love it, though. I always buy it every year. Yeah. Yeah, I love Divinity. Um, I have a friend that she's a, what do you call her? Uh, a gourmet chef. Mm. So she does a lot of gourmet, you know, type cooking and stuff. And she'll bring me just, you know, she brought me a bunch of divinity. She brought me a bunch. I mean, she, I could ask her how to cook it, but these powder balls, like, um, they just melt. They just fall apart. They're crumb. They're like crumb balls. I don't know. I don't know how to explain them. Hmm. But she made those. She made us some English toffee. She made... Um, Oh, God, there was chocolate things in there. And she just bakes like crazy. 
I do she, a lot of baking at Christmas. Yeah, and she she well, what she does is she bakes for um, like company parties. Uh -huh. uh, what do they call that? Um, Banquets or catering? Yeah, catering. That's the word. Mm -hmm. And uh, one time she made like four hundred cupcakes. Holy oh, to wow. take for a wedding, yeah, for a wedding. And Hold on, let me mute. And yeah. they look, time I made cupcakes for a wedding. <laughs> My grandson wanted a cupcake. I told him, I said, I'll, I've got some pooling here. I'll, I'll let you, bake, you know, I'll let you frost them and all that because I had them all decorated. I put them on the dining room table and he reached up there and grabbed the container and they all fell. <gasps> oh my oh, goodness. Oh. That's Luckily, I was. They stayed in the container because I I went and bought I went and bought one of the containers from price. <coughs> I mean, our grocery store here, and luckily that the the lid didn't pop off because they snap in there. Yeah, but they were all smashed in, <laughs> so uh -huh. I kind of had to redo those. But yeah, oh, I was so upset because I had spent all night making those cupcakes. Oh, I made geez. the cake also, but the cake she didn't want a big cake. She wanted more of the cupcake. She just wanted a cut a cake to cut. Mm -hmm. And so I did a three tiered cake. Um that was a they're called naked cakes. Uh-huh. Have you seen the naked cakes? Yes. And so I made a naked cake and then decorated it with the flowers with fondant and all that. Uh-huh. Um so I had all that. I just needed the cupcakes. And I was trying to find time. She only gave me two weeks to get this wedding prepared. And I planned the whole thing. I mean, I didn't plan it, but I did all the the um yeah. the floral arrangements, the 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 uh the reception area. I planned the reception. Hmm. And like so I gave me two weeks. It's like my kids coming home from school saying, hey, I got to take cookies to school tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <Can I miss? laughs> I said, well, how many is invited at this wedding? And she said about 100 and something. I was like, okay. Oh, God. So I had to bake all those. Oh, I was so That's upset. a lot of bacon. Yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. have a big Just, oven or what? No, I don't have a big oven. I just have a lot of pans. <laughs> well, did they get married in the winter? <laughs> they got married in the fall, so it was a oh, fall. Oh, well, then it wedding. kept your house pretty warm, yeah. Bacon. Yeah, yeah. And I made two of the big round ones and two of the, you know, medium, and then I had uh, two of the small. I made oh. a wedding cake for my daughter's best friend, and she showed me a picture of what she wanted. I told her, I said, that's not going to be as elaborate as that. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm not professional by no means. Yeah. And she goes, no. She goes, this is just the style I want. She goes, what oh. you do will be great. Um, I had all the stuff already because I took a cake decorating class at Michael's. And whenever you took, take a dec cake decorating class at Michael's, they give you a 50% off coupon each time you go into class. Oh, okay. Well, whenever the stuff would go on sale for 50% off, I could use my coupon because I took a class there. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have to pay anything for the supplies. Oh, well, that's cool. Any, I didn't have to pay anything. And mm -hmm. so I have a lot. I've got a great big huge toolbox. Holman toolbox, or is it Paul Craftsman? Toolbox. Full. Cool. Of cake decorating stuff. Oh wow! And I enjoyed I making. Cake. I, huh? I couldn't. I can't do baking. I mean, I can bake, but I mean, to do that many and uh. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not a cake decorator. I made a cake in a heart shape and put pink frosting on it and got an envelope and wrote. Uh, be mine and gave it to Ray when he got home from work on Valentine's. <laughs> I've got a heart-shaped 
um, cake pan. In fact, I, I have two of them. I've got um, one one side and the other the other side. And I made my mom a, yeah, it was my mom, a birthday cake, and I used the heart. Well, the center didn't get done. And so I was like, oh, God, I don't have the center's not done. What do I do? Missy came over and said, looked at it. We lived in the same town. She came over and looked at it, and she goes, okay. She goes, do you have a heart cookie cutter? And I says, well, yeah, I have a heart-shaped cookie cutter. She goes, give it to me. And so she just took that cookie cutter, put it down over the part that wasn't done, scooped it out. And we put chocolate ganache in the center of it. Mm. And so mm. there was uh, um, chocolate ganache in the center of the strawberry cake. And hey, then I put 250 <laughs> flowers on it. Oh, God. Holy yeah, that's, <laughs> that's too much. The most elaborate thing, not elaborate, but the best thing I baked one time was I made a Boston cream pie. Mm -hmm. Darn, a Boston cream cake. I made a cake with the, you know, the center, all the cream and chocolate over the top. Mm. I had the biggest mess in my kitchen. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. It took me two days to clean it. Wow. I wonder if I could send you that picture. Can you put that picture? Can you put a picture on StreamYard? Yeah. If I send you the picture? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hi, Food Forest. How are you? Hi, Food Forest. Hello, hello. Let me get to it here. If you put um, hashtag get baked, your link will pop up. Hold on. Let me get to it. Camera. Here it is. Got to get through all these pictures. Potato salad. God, there's only so many pictures. That sounds good. Greetings, fellow Earthlings. Earth Day content. Okay, that's why he said Earth Earthlings. <laughs> yeah, he's got, he does all this food for us. Uh, yes, he does. Wow. <laughs> well, I just subbed to him because I had never... Uh, Today I made potato salad and wild salmon. Oh man, I, I love salmon. salmon. I won't eat any fish. Oh what? man, I love fish. You I are like the most pickiest person, little Missy. <laughs> I, I'm I'm good with um uh shell food. Shell food. I love you know crab, uh, lobster, all that kind of stuff. And um, you're welcome, hon. And um, I love the. Uh, Let me send this I over love to you. Some freshwater fish, which. Um, but I have to cook it. I have to skin it. I have to fillet it. I have to cook it. Otherwise, I won't. <laughs> I won't order fish at a restaurant. In other words. Hmm. But uh, yeah, I gotta catch there you it. Go. I just sent it to you. I will really eat shrimp, but I won't eat. I won't eat fish. Yeah, I gotta make it though. I gotta catch it. I gotta skin it. I gotta fillet it. I gotta do all that. I live on the ocean on Vancouver Island. Yep. So lots of food. Oh yeah. Looks good. No fish, no seafood for me. Is it? Is it you? Oh, that's pretty, Kelly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's very pretty. Thank you. Mm -hmm. that, is, that was the heaviest cake I've ever made in my life. <laughs> it was so heavy because of the filling. Yes. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that is. And I made all them little flowers. I seen the little pearls in it. Oh, you made them flowers also? Yeah. Now, see, if I would have had to make something like that, I would have bought the flowers already, sugar flowers made. 
<laughs> nope, all them flowers I made. Oh, oh man. Wow. And the leaves I made. My grandma used to do that kind of stuff with powdered sugar. She used to make her own leaves, her own flowers, all that stuff. Um, it is, um, oh gosh, what is the name of it? I have some of it here. It's the hard, I mean, it's the, oh gosh, what is it? It's on the back, it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, Are you bonded? No, it's not bonded. It's. It's like the icing that you, that hardens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The royal is it royal? Royal icing. icing. Yeah. And That's I cool. use those, and you add just a little bit. You make it a little bit thicker, and that way it hardens. And then I just used a pipe, a piping, and just did little dots. Oh and then yeah. My and mom, then the my leaves, I just used the piping. Yeah, my grandma used to sit there and make them with her fingers and then put them on the cake. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. I make, I I work at Dairy Queen, so I I make ice cream cakes. Mm. Oh, my God, I love the ice cream cakes. <laughs> oh. I grow flowers and eat the edible ones. Not all the flowers are edible. Yeah, mm -hmm. there are flowers that you can actually put on, you know, live flowers that you can actually put on stuff and eat it. Yeah. When my daughter got married, she wanted um, diamonds on her cake. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, diamonds? I mm -hmm. said, How, where am I going to find diamonds? They have edible diamonds. Oh, wow. Oh, so really? I ordered them online. And they, that yeah, I ordered. <laughs> I had help. <laughs> well, I know that. I ordered them yeah. online, and I, um, they came in, and they looked just like diamonds. Mm. And so I took them to the floor. I mean, the the bakery, and told her what I wanted. And I said, and she wants diamonds on them. And she goes, um, they don't. I don't know where you would find them. And I says, here you go. And I handed her the box. And she opened up the box and she goes, I have never seen these before. Yeah, I and never I said, heard yeah, of them. She wants these mixed in in her cake. And so, yeah, she had the diamonds in her cake. I'll be darn. Oh, and wow. she designed her own cake. She, um, It had gray dust, like smoke coming up from it. Uh-huh. And then in the smoke, there it went from dark gray to light gray to light gray to the diamonds. And it looked like smoke coming up from the cake. I mean, from the oh. bottom of the cake up. Wow. And that was her cake. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. That sounds pretty. It was pretty. <laughs> it was very pretty. So. Yeah. Food Force said that cake took talent, Crafty Kelly. No, oh, thank you. For, I believe his name is Howie. Howie. Am I correct in that? I believe your name is Howie. Are you Howie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm almost thinking it is. Mm -hmm. But yes. I know him. I'm, I've seen him in other chats. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, Earthling Howie. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And he does have a really cool show. I mean, his, he, yeah. he does have a cool channel. Yeah, um, Howie, if you don't mind, book. if you put in hashtag get baked, get baked, mm -hmm. you can post your link in here. Yeah. Yep. You'll have and a bunch ladies over there <laughs> yeah there you go yeah, go check him out. he he does have a really cool channel yeah yeah i already subbed to it i went over and subbed to it yeah yep, that's really cool. cool yeah nice i'm so glad that works <laughs> I know, right? I, oh, yeah. I, I need some help with that. So do I. I think I got 
some of it done. I just don't know how to, I still don't know how to put my thing on subscriber mode only. Really? I'll have to show you. We'll, yeah. we'll have to get on here and I can show you my screen and how to do it. Okay. That's how I do with Kelly. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. how Kelly's learning. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, if I, if Good I'm job. at work and she yeah. needs something, I'll do it from my phone and just screen, screen, screen. Yeah. And there send you go. It to her. She's like, Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I know every little bit helps. There's so many weird things you can do and mess up on, you know? And it's like, Oh Lord, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what yeah. I was telling Kelly today. I was like, I always go and try to click and figure this out before I let you do it because I don't want her to mess her channel up. <laughs> I yeah, that's, that's hey, like, you know yeah. what? I mean it works. And yeah. I mean I've been I've been exploring a little bit more. Yeah. Trying to get things, you and know. That's good. As long as you look around and try to figure things out. Because I've I've tried everything to figure out subscriber mode only everything. Mm. And I still don't have any clue. <laughs> yeah. I just throw you on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes it's already done in your chat and I, I'm like, I don't know how to check to see if it's. Yeah. If mama red, she'll, if she sees me on, she'll pop in and put that on right away. Yeah. And I know um, how to do it, but since, I've been dealing with pools and all that. I wait for a little bit before I do it. Mm -hmm. but otherwise, my head moderators will do it for me. Yeah, that's what my moderators, because I've got Baked and I've got Miss Red as my, Mama Red as my uh, big mods. My, what do you call them? Managing mods? Managing mods. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have two. I have baked and uh, Mama Red. And even if she don't stay, you know, she'll pop in and put that on for me and then, you know, go do her thing. But, yeah. Well, my notifications haven't been going off until way later in the day. Yeah, I got, I got a notification for Kelly like hours later. And it's funny because, you know, I Who we was know it? Somebody told me that they got their notification in the morning. My yeah, the next morning. That was Florida Mama Bear. I got oh, it. That was Florida Mama Bear that said that? I, I think thought, it was Florida Mama Bear that was. got the notification. Yeah, I a screenshot. It was at um, 2, 2.51 in the morning. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I think Florida Mama Bear got one like that, too. The next yeah. day or something. Because I woke up and I was like, what the hell happened? <laughs> I'm clicking <laughs> to see if something happened and she had to go live in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah. No. It's, it's, like, she didn't call me. <laughs> it's weird everywhere because I don't get notifications for anybody anymore. Hmm. It, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, I, well, I did go into my subscriptions because, I mean, I wanted to take some notifications off. You know, because I really don't care. Um, so I went and because I mean I get stupid notifications. I mean stupid. I haven't. And so I went through my my um, subscription list, subscribers list at the top there. It says subscribers, and then uh -huh. it's all, and then it all come down. And there was some that I know I was that I used to get notifications for, and I don't anymore. So I had to go through there and start hitting them again. I had to go through and hit the bell again. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I okay. went through maybe them all. Or maybe yeah. that will help. Because yeah. YouTube would like take people away from you, and then you have to go back in and make sure you yeah with them mm -hmm. and all that. It happens yeah. to me before. I just went through and did all the notifications again and took some off that I don't. I mean, it's like I get notifications for why would I want to get notifications for, uh, uh, oh, God, what's that cartoon that my kid loves all the time? Coco Melon. I mean, I was getting notifications from them, and it's like I don't need them because my grandkids go in there and they push, you know, 
they push the little bell, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's a button. <laughs> push it. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can find that. That was. I love good earthlings like you girls. So nice to have good earthlings. Good night, Miss Red, Lydia, Crafty, Kelly, and Hot Down. This was good fun. Night. Well, thank, thank you for coming you in. Good night, Howie. You have a good night. Thank you for coming yeah. in. I'll see you again, scene. Earthling. <laughs> yeah, they usually pop in pretty often. Oh, yeah? Say, You're the mess on me. Oh, Lord. The yeah, her. see, it was, it was Florida <laughs> Mama Bear. <laughs> She says, I have got notifications for Elaine, like show at 2 and 4 a.m. in the morning. You see, all of them are coming in here now. <laughs> I did. They probably want mommy, it's time for bed. Yeah, they're probably wondering, what are you doing? Why are you out there? <laughs> oh, they, they keep coming in, checking on you? I think he's just letting them out to use the bathroom. Oh, the dogs. <laughs> yeah. I got my, my door open to my office since it's nice outside. Oh, God. It's raining and windy here. I didn't it's even know it was raining. Here. Huh? It's windy here, but it's not raining. Yeah. Not yet, anyway. Well, when I went to get my um, my cup of coffee, I, I was hearing this noise, and I thought, what the heck's that? And I looked out the curtain of the backyard, or the back door the slider and it was the water hitting the slider or the rain ah that was shit because the wind's blowing so hard you know that it's mm -hmm. blowing against the window and mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> well ladies i don't know about y'all but i'm tired i know I am too. Too. i'm getting there too. really quick i was there an hour a half hour ago <laughs> yeah, but we're women. We just keep on talking. No. <laughs> hey, I did. I did the midnight live before. So oh I'm yeah. Really oh god. So Too tomorrow, late for me. <laughs> I really want to find out if I can do the to do the Facebook if they could jump on from Facebook. But she really hasn't gotten back with me, so I really don't know if I want to. If she oh, says wait. anything or jumps on. We can, well, we try, can it. try it. I can try it. Yeah, we could try it. I, I can go on Facebook and you can try sending me the link and get on your thing and then I can click it and see if it'll take me there. Okay, we can try that. Yeah, that would that. be the easiest way to try it, don't you think, babe? Yeah, I think as long I mean as long as she has the link to StreamYard, she can get on. And because Kelly is streaming on Facebook and YouTube, she'll be able to see all the comments like we do. Right. So and, uh, right. she'll be able to go on the panel too. Yeah. 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 So and I would just, I would just about, message so. you that we'll try it that way. See if it works. If not, jump on. I'm mean, gonna jump on the YouTube side. Yeah. So exactly. That doesn't work that way. Exactly. So, all right. You have a link. Uh, you know, you copy like see at the. I don't know. I don't know if it shows on your end or not. At the bottom, you have the mute, the stop cam, and settings. I don't know if you have an invite. Good night, button. Florida Mama Bear. Love you. Yes. Uh, no, I don't have an Good invite night, button, but I have all the other buttons. Yeah. So, yeah. Kelly, on your end, when it's on your stream, you'll have an invite button. Let's see if I can show my screen. Wouldn't I just be able to... To uh, just send her the link and she pushed the link and jump yeah, off. Yeah, you be on. better send the link to her. Um, oh, my. Messenger. That's not going to work. <laughs> That's not going to work. Anyways, at the bottom, it has invite and you click that and you'll copy the link and you'll just send it to her in a message. Right. Because right. yeah. you can paste it in the message. Hi, John. Yeah. On Facebook. Yeah. John, hello. John. Hi, sweetheart. Hello, Don. How are, How are you, you doing? <laughs> but yeah, it, it's we easy. We did some crafts tonight. We listened to a to a true crime and <laughs> left your light. Thank you. Thumbs up, your sweetheart. <laughs> she might. She I don't get to be there, there Monday job. for hobby bingo. Darn it, because I got to have that test and I got to be there at 7 30 in the morning over in Victorville. 
I'm hoping to get back in time to go to the members only live, but I don't get to play bingo, darn it. But I will see you Monday sometime, Don. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some way or another, I listened to the true. Oh, thank and you. Oh, your lovely cake. Oh, gosh. <laughs> thanks. Thank Don. you, Don. Yep. Yeah. Well, thanks for hanging out anyway. Yeah. Absolutely. Great crap, Miss Red. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Well, ladies, it's been fun. Yes, yes it was. I'm yeah. tired. Getting a frog in my throat or something, but we'll do yeah. it again. I'm going to try, I, you know, I'm going to try to do it as I can. I, mm -hmm. My schedule changes at, at, at any given moment. So right. I never know. <laughs> <laughs> but I definitely want to do it more often. And um, it was fun. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> oh, honey, you're welcome, sweetie. Thank You've been you cooking and cleaning. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, Lydia and Elaine you're and Kelly. No, oh, thank you, right. Mate. Yeah, we, um, that's the way Dorothy and I do it. Let's just do a, you know, an after hours show. Yeah. So, you know. Whenever. Just give me a heads up and Bye, Bye. Hi, Don. Yeah, I forget I have you on there. <laughs> I know it. Night, everybody. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone.